cool. waiting for that. My computer. Yeah, that's a new feature. It asks for confirmation that we're, mm -hmm. we, we are consenting to be recorded. Sounds like some lawyers got involved. I also like the audio notification. Yeah. Yeah, it did that for a while. But the, what are you guys uh, talking about? So when, when you, you when you uh, selected record, uh -huh. a dialog box popped up saying that by continuing, you are consenting to being recorded. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the audio says, uh, recording in progress. Well, that is new because it used to be a woman's voice and she was and now it was a man's voice today no no it was a it was a woman's voice at least for, for me oh, yeah, it was kind of a uh, cyber woman yeah it's like on star trek where the Here person sounds like whoever it is you want him to be <laughs> well it's like siri is australian if you're richard saunders <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh look we have twin karens we have multiple karens mm -hmm. everybody should be a look like that that'd be great yeah. but yeah i'm just charging my ipad now so that way when we hit the break i can put the kittens back on oh good. i am switching devices oh okay uh because my other one uh doesn't have the bells and whistles uh to facilitate uh, how Jeff will be helping us keep track of our uh, answers. Oh, I like the way he does it. That is clever. Yeah, yeah. And I want to see- too organized people. though, you know? Oh, but I want to see people's faces too. I love I, I love the gallery plus the share screen. Mm -hmm. Basically, that is from years of getting it basically drilled into me at work. So it's like a survival instinct now where it's like, oh, I have to have this organized in this way, otherwise my brain isn't gonna be able to keep any of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I was gonna have right, something like that. Gone too long. Let me, let me close the rooms. <laughs> Just, that's it. Ah, uh, you're done. Everybody come You back. are done, whatever you decided, you're out. Yeah. Mark, Mark hasn't really sat through this much of the trivia before. He's like, where did everybody go? And I said, well, they're going to come back and they're going to have some really goofy <laughs> names. Some of the times it's political, whatever's happening in the news. Sometimes it's the word Washington. Or Worcestershire. Worcestershire Shire. Yes. Worcestershire. Watch this here sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, Worcestershire. Susan, I just realized that Wendy hasn't been um, coming for a while. Where she had she a, going? she has a, like a pinched nerve and she cannot, she is in so much miserable pain. She's mm -hmm. really, really yeah. awful. So if, you, her, if you're friends messages. with her on, well, if you're friends with her on Facebook, send her a private message and tell her that you miss her. She's I'm got, um, they gave her a shot to try to make, to numb the nerve. It's hitting the nerves, so she can't. She says, "I can't even think." Oh, and wow. um, so here's Newman, but she says that she misses us very badly, and she'd really like to be here, and we miss her too, of course. We miss her too, definitely. Yeah, oh, that Wendy. Oh yeah. So she, I think she's going to get a second shot, or she has just gotten a second shot, and if that doesn't work, she's going to have surgery. So oh. she's she's miserable and misses us. So please tell her. How much you miss her on uh, Facebook? She would love to hear from you. So, Jenny, we missed you in our group. Couldn't you go to our group? Uh, hey, Jim. Hey. <laughs> you just got here right now. I did just get here right now. I apologize. I'm trying to replace an air conditioner in my house, and I went down a Craigslist hole and lost track of time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, we're getting the room all ready for you. Jim's coming up here, he'll be here. Like one o'clock in the morning on Saturday. You shouldn't need air conditioning here. I'm kind of you will not need any air conditioning here at my house. Okay. <laughs> no heat, no air conditioning, nothing. Yeah, and you won't get them even if you do. So I have heat. I have heat. Yeah, you do. You do. Now, <laughs> yeah, I don't need. trivia. When is the actual event this weekend? Sunday. No, when you guys okay. get here. It starts when you get here. Well, not at one in the morning. <laughs> right. At some point, I'm going to need to drive up to San Jose to fill the car with hydrogen. Uh-oh. In Ooh, order hydrogen. to get back down. 
You could to, do it Monday uh, morning. Except then you've got a long drive on Monday to add another a couple of hours hours or more to the drive. Yeah, that's more fun. Mm. Do you have a Mirai? No, I have a Clarity, which is the Honda version. Yeah. Can't you just use Mr. Coffee in the back? <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> Mr. Fusion. It's the fusion. Mm -hmm. And you really can't get someplace closer, huh? Harris Ranch is the only place between the Bay Area and the LA area. That's really Ooh. interesting. So, Susan, is it 12 o'clock so and is it noon or 1 p.m.? It's at 1 on Monday, uh, on Sunday. Oh, okay. Good. But, okay. Yeah, Jim and Paula will be here on Saturday at 1 in the morning because they're <laughs> driving up from LA. So I'm telling people, if you're nearby on Saturday, <laughs> you can go and have, a, we're going to go get Mexican food at one of my favorite places and hang out at my house and play games and stuff. So if you're nearby, you can come by. Karen's like down the street. So she's going to come over. So Dallas. you're welcome I'll to come over I'll on Saturday over. as well as coming over on Sunday. If That's I do that, it's the furthest I will have driven my car in over a year. Really? <laughs> Well, in two in the same in the short period of time. Oh wow! <laughs> well, that, I mean, I, I would drive. That's fine. Hmm? I would drive up to San Jose on Monday morning if someone could bring Paula like east a little bit, so I didn't have to come all the way back to Salinas to pick her oh, up. Oh, you know what? That's a really good idea. I can do it. Okay. Yeah, that would. <clears throat> I can do that. I'll just. Well, we'll going to go to Los Angeles, huh? <laughs> Too bad Leonard's not going to be home. We could just go over to his house. Absolutely. Right. We could have well, lunch. Especially because he's not there. Just go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> what do you got in the fridge? It's in the fridge. Uh, it's basically empty. Oh, man. Oh. Bring the beer and leave him a couple. <laughs> There's no you know, beer really in our fridge. That's There's we'll almost do. never beer in our fridge. Bring well, the wine. <laughs> hey, um... You Jim, go, where is east. this place that you go to to get the, the fueling? What, what place is it? Um, well, we stop at Harris Ranch on the way up. And we'll have to stop on the way down. But I where is? I am not ranch? sure there. Are the, I, I will send you the, uh, the URL that shows you the map of all the stations. Well, you know what? If Harris Ranch is a place that we can eat, we now, can Harris Ranch there. is way over by Fresno or something. Yeah, Fresno. it's really far away. Harris it's Ranch. like halfway between LA and. Oh, but you said yeah. you're going to go to San Jose. You need to get to San well, Jose. Well, I, I, I will. Ranch. Can't tell. Harris Ranch? No. I will have used most of the fuel getting from Harris Ranch to your place. So I'll need to fill up up there someplace so I can get back to Harris Ranch. Okay. So I'm saying if you go up to San Jose and you have to fill up there. Right. Okay. So where is the place in San Jose you fill up at? I don't know because I've never been there. But oh. there, are, there are a number of stations. I will, I'll put the there URL in. All the... the stations from Northern California, right there. Okay. My, what my question is, is if you pick a place that has a place we can have lunch, I will drive Paula up, because you got to spend an hour getting the fuel in your car, right? No, no, oh. it, it's as fast oh. as filling it with gasoline. Oh, well, then Can I vote that you guys talk about like the logistical walk. details at a later point? Oh, I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, it's your choice for living in the wrong time zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. All right. So we're ready to start. And, and we were recording all that. So that was so interesting for everybody watching. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, group names. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's put, um, I need to give somebody powers. I'll give one to Deborah. Deborah, you want power? Okay. What am I going to do with this power? Let people in the you're, door. You're going to mute us. Mute I'm going to mute you and let you in the door. Okay. Good. Okay, Good. so we pull up the chat and let's do our group names. So first name, first group. This is going to be Bob, Jane, Jerry, Carmen, Mike, and Peggy. Who are you guys tonight? Please put it in the chat. Oh, my God. There it is. Millie Vanilli, Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> oh. Millie Vanilli in the Don't ask. Why? Why? Figure it out. 
Millie Vanilli Hungry Caterpillar? They have L's in them. Oh, there's extra L's. No. I don't know why. <laughs> they are well, like everything in trivia. If you just think about it, you can figure it out. <laughs> uh, because they're coming back, and that's when they 17 years ago or something. Yeah, they're not I caterpillar. Know. They're not caterpillars, so. though. Uh, in memoriam. Didn't the, the man who wrote The Hungry Caterpillar die today? I think yes. that's yes. what it was. Yes. Oh, what's that with Millie Vanilli? Yeah. Yeah. One of the, the guy who was one of the actual singers, not the lip syncers from Millie Vanilli, died today as well. Oh, uh, uh, that's a nice tribute. Somebody named a, somebody named a, their trivia category team name after Millie Vanilli and the other guy who died. That is really sweet of you guys. <laughs> and the know. other guy who died. <laughs> I don't know his name. The other, the other guy, guy who died wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Like, his name was Eric Carl. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Eric Carl, right? Oh. Does okay. Millie actually have three L's in it? No, it does now. <laughs> Today it does. All right, next team: Ben, Deborah, Rob, and Wilma. We're all we've all been vaccinated, <laughs> so we're throwing off spike proteins left and right. There you go, throwing off spike throwing proteins, off spike proteins, proteins left and right. Left That's, good. That's a good one. Kicking ass and taking names. Okay, and playing against them and the next group. Oh, there's Mike just put something in about. Pop called Molly Vanilli singer guys. Uh, Alan, Caspian, Kyle, and Mono, who are you tonight? Oh, COVID. Oh. What went missing first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> what went missing first, the chicken or the egg? That's cute. Janine, that's that's for you. Where She's is not she? on your team, is she? Oh, there she is. That was for you, Janine. And number four. Thank you. Kevin, Avi, Faith, Romero, Janine, and Carl. I, I didn't catch that. Your sound cut out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Here comes Robin. Uh, that's, that's, name of, that's not a name of a team. <clears throat> uh, oh, we should also say we're sorry not to have uh, um, Isabella here tonight. She's graduating. Congratulations <sighs> to her. Priority. She this video. She's, she's going to be like, eh, I've got my life to live now. I'm graduated from high school. Okay, team number five, James, <laughs> Julie, Jeff, Karen, and Leonard. We're the winners. Right. Cyber Ninja says so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Ninja. We're the oh, winners. Yeah. Cyber, Cyber Ninja says, says so. What? I mean, God, I can't even watch the news anymore. You're not missing much. Yeah. It's impossible. So Robin's here, right? Yep. Hi, yep. Hi Robin. So we're gonna put, I'm going to put you on a team. It's going to be the one that's probably going to lose somebody. So they, let's they let you out of it. Well, we're going to lose Avi probably. Yeah, okay. but I've got two teams that have four. So let me see. Where did I have Robin last week? I seem to be fading in and out of reality. Not sure why that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my normal day. <laughs> That's pretty psychedelic. I like it. Yeah. Uh, we'll Cut off the here. mushroom settings. How can I make that go away? <laughs> you need more light on yourself. <laughs> more or you can turn off your background. Yeah, turn okay, your so background off. That'll do it. That's good right there. <laughs> you need to drink a peach colored liquid <laughs> okay here's the team names playing playing tonight 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 on may 27th which is the thursday one of the last thursdays in the in the year of thursdays we've been That's playing only the, slightly better robin we've never ever missed a thursday thank you very much for <laughs> the whole year you look and like the invisible tonight, person we have a uh, millie vanilli hungry caterpillar versus throwing off spike proteins left and right, versus what went missing first, the chicken or the egg, versus I didn't catch that, your sound cut out, versus where the winner is Cyber Ninja says so. And let's see who the best team is tonight. This will be interesting to see. We already know. And the crowd yeah. goes wild. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Yay. So I'm going to give my, I'm going to give the powers of the game to Mike, which is right there. 
let's see what interesting category um, Mike okay. comes up with. Keep in mind, everybody, that we never know what these people are going to come up with because that's how we play the game. So it could possibly overlap. And I will be, Mark Edward is on, is me, and I will be on the teams that you select. Robin is, Robin is on. Team well, five. Team two. Well, Robin is using the, the predator the cloaking egg. device. She's on team three. What, what missing first chicken or the egg? All right. So Mike. Okay. Oh, Deborah, you gotta um, after Mike gives the uh, go ahead. You gotta tell us and then mute us. Okay. So we got. Hey. <clears throat> <laughs> You're off the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> it's to move to move to San Mateo. <laughs> go towards the light. Go towards the light. Robin, what um, device are you using? I'm using an HP laptop. On the bottom left corner of your screen, there is a stop video button with a little arrow next to it. You see that? Of your screen? Yes. Okay. Click that little arrow and uh, choose virtual background. Okay. Um, There's now going to be a bunch of. Yeah, yay. click like none. Hey. Yay. Hey. There's Robin. Somebody was messing with your computer. <laughs> All right, Mike, what's your category tonight? Okay, places you can refill hydrogen fuel cells. No. That was a joke. This oh. category I'm calling this or that. And it's uh, because a lot of people, a lot of the categories require very specific technical knowledge or weird pop culture knowledge. This is going to be more like uh, crossword clues than trivia. There's two unrelated cues, clues for each answer. Each answer is just one word, simple, like a crossword puzzle. And um, we, and so it's there. Hopefully, these will be something that everyone can participate in. Will they be easy? Yes. <laughs> Everyone is so going happy. to get a time. Really high scores for everyone. <laughs> Everyone's going to get a ten. Uh, Everybody's going to get a ten. Rob, I knew I put that in there. Just... I'm trying to copy here. Okay, you ready um, to start? That, uh, no two answers are repeated, and remember, not every trivia round has a secret meaning. But does this one? <laughs> You never know. I mean, why uh, would it be brought up unless it's going to be that way? Yeah. So, so there's three, so for each one, there's two clues that are independent, but both have the, lead to the same answer. So it's like a because you don't have the hints from the crossword puzzle of the on right. other direction letters. Oh yeah. Got it. So the first uh, question I'm is muting. Hold on, muting. Three, two, one. Okay. And unmute yourself, Mike. First question is a Supreme Court justice or a popular brand of English muffins? Question two, a privy or escort customer? Question three, a metal container or neighboring country's abbreviation? No, question four, a segment of filming or to remove something from someone. Question five, the indefinite article or the highest grade. Question six, Shelley, Howie or Huey or among other things in a suit measurement. Among other things, a suit measurement. Seven, something Susanna might like to, something Susanna might do like an Egyptian or get a, or get a quarter of the way home for free.
eight. Take, play, or blast with this or a bug spray. Number nine, a type of sales recently in the news or a fork in an outlet. And number 10, a beach feature or with one, a place to get wicker. And because someone did this last week, this is a bonus question that's totally unrelated and apropos of nothing and worth zero extra points, but I thought it's, it was fun. Um, what is the time difference between Ontario, Oregon and Panama City, Florida? So for instance, the time difference between where I am in Brooklyn and Salinas, California is three hours. Uh, it, it is now 1021 here. So what is the time difference between Ontario, Oregon and Panama City, Florida. And that's it. Just to be clear, last time they did 11, you could get any of the 10 of the 11 right yes, and get 10 this points. This is not so, that. So you're not doing that, okay. No, this is just because I thought it was a fun question and it didn't fit in with my theme, but I want I like to be it. I think I like your right. category. Very good, very, very good. good. Hopefully right. no obscure knowledge is needed for this. I mean, some of them are kind of weird knowledge. All right, so no questions. Right. Ready. <laughs> go, <clears throat> go, 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 go. Oh, look at I get to put all these people in different places. Where am I putting you? Where am I putting? Oh, sorry. Okay, Robin, you're going to this one. Karen, you are in five. Yep. Jim Newman, you are going to, I didn't have you in one before, did I? Nope, okay, so you're going to, oh, there you go. And we're be live. Oh, somebody just came in. Or it's Janine. Did you go outside anyway? Well, when you jump on me, you make me jump. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Susan. We started without you. Bob, you're muted. So if you have anything to add, you're going to unmute. So where are you guys at? And we're at number four. four. Segment of filming. Or, or what? Or remove something from someone. A segment of filming or to remove something from someone. Still? No. A bug? Splice. Take. A take. Splice. A take. Hey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Very good. Segment of filming or to. Yeah. Take. Very good. Take. Take. Or to remove something from someone. Take. A take, right? That makes sense. Yep. Okay. Number five, the infinite. Infin what does that say? Indefinite in article. Oh, the indefinite the, article. The highest, the highest grade, grade is a better clue. A. It's A. Yeah. A or A. Uh. And number six. Indefinite. Read it out loud because oh. Mark can't read, hear them from here. Oh, it's Shelly, Howie, and Huey, or among other things, a suit measurement. Long. Yeah. Uh, oh, very good. <laughs> um, Seven. Susanna is something Susanna might do like an Egyptian or get one quarter of the way home for free. Ah, uh, walk. Walk, yeah. Walk, walk like an Egyptian? Mm -hmm. why, who, why does he say Susanna? And what does that got to do with a quarter of the way home for free? Susanna, Susanna Hawk, Hawk. Bangles, walk like an Egyptian, 
you remember and that walk, song? walk is from baseball the other part walk is yeah. from baseball yeah oh, oh walk. Walk. that's yeah. clever yeah that's football, good walk to first base and the Susanna reference is somebody that's Susanna walk like from the Bengals song. the Bengals with the song walk like an Egyptian and her name is walk her name Susanna is Susanna Hoff. Hoff. It's like oh, walk like an Egyptian. Lead singer. So she okay, sang the lyrics. Yeah. Steve Martin made that popular. Okay, number eight. Take, play, blast with this or a bug spray. Clockwise. Raid. The one, raid? one word answer. Oh, it is? It seems like it should be raid, but take, play, blast. Well, if you raid, you take things. Play. I don't know what the blast with this refers to. Bug spray. Rain. Off. P take off. Play off. Blast, oh, blast yeah. off. Yeah, Very it's good. off. Bug spray. Uh, off. Was a bug spray named off. Yeah. Okay. Very, Very good. good. Um, Type of sales recently in the news or a fork in an outlet. Blast. Shock. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the reference to the sales, but I love the answer. A shock in the news, right? Every day. <laughs> and number 10 is a beach feature or with number one, a place to get wicker. Pure. Marxist pure. Well, number oh, yeah. one is one. No, like pure one, <laughs> like the pure. No. Oh, with number one. Pure, I was looking at yeah. Thomas going, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Pure one. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> okay, so what was the first four because or next first three because I got in here late. We have Thomas for one, and that is for Mark's benefit, Supreme Court justice or a popular brand of English muffins. Mm -hmm. Number two is a privy or escort customer is John. John. And then three is a metal container or a neighboring country's abbreviation is can. And then you were here for take a long walk off shock pier one. Oh, did you see what did you say? Read them out. Read them out. Thomas, John. Thomas, John can take a long walk off shock pier one. Do you think shock's wrong then? Shock's wrong. Oh, yes, it is a short. It's a short, short. Oh, short. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. that's a short pure one. So short we did it on purpose. Thomas yes, yes, John yes. can take. Thomas John is the psychic that I'm always after. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Oh, and that, that is really good. One, that is really good, Mike. That was good, Mike. You guys yeah, are kind of right? I'm she not going to curse the. Uh, I'm screwing up my own team. That was really <laughs> good. No, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy just read off the answers in a row, and I said, "Wait." That makes yeah. sense. Well, as soon as you heard Thomas John's, your ears are like, what? Let's see if you can get the uh, bonus question. I should have made oh. the bonus question worth a point. That would be a little bit more. Uh... Bonus question. What is that? Read it out loud, somebody. Um, where is the bonus question? Oh, what is what is the time difference between Ontario, Oregon, and Panama City, Florida? Well, it, would, it should Panama be three City. hours. Is it east, eastern, or is it? Panama eastern? is in the Panhandle. I'll give you a hint. If it was three hours, that wouldn't make it a very interesting trivia question. It's a boring quit. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that, so it can't be. <laughs> so, is this one of those half-hour kind of places? Um, I don't know. It's it's not worth points, so I can tell you no. I think it's three hours, and he's just. It must to be. Finish. It must I be four it. then. It's not three. He's pretty much said it's not three. Oregon is the same. Ontario, Oregon. It's got to, Ontario, Oregon is going to be the same time zone I'm in Pacific. Yeah, but I don't think Panama City, Florida is. I don't know, but if it's in the Panhandle. It's in Florida. It's got to be. Is it's not Central Time Zone. It's got to be three hours, and he's just messing with us. Yeah, I think it's three hours. Well, maybe it's two, but that doesn't seem possible. Florida, if it's in Florida, well, it's got to be at least. Oh, wait, was that? Remember, the uh, lines of longitude are closer together the further north you go. 
Uh oh, Paula is on the is waiting. I'm going to admit her to the main session, but yeah, let her in. I'll I'll go I'll go take care of it. Guys, great job, everybody. We got. I 10. think everyone is. I think everyone is done. You can pull everyone back okay. to the. I'll do that right now. Awesome. All right. Should, should we just job, say everybody. four as the answer to the extra? I think it's four six. or four, yeah. whatever it is. Four. I think yeah, it's I I'd go with four, but I don't really care. I don't know where. Paula, you actually, here yet? I'm actually back here because I hit the button by accident. I'm here, but I don't know what's going on, so I'm just oh, here. We don't know either, so that's all right. Oh, there you are. You download Crow. Oh, what is my purpose? You download Crow. Yeah, that's right. So um, we just came back from the from the first round. It's was that those are really good questions, Mike did, and whoever doesn't they, get they ten gets Paula. Everybody should get ten. Yeah, but, but you want Paula. No, we're not going to get 10. So we got Paula. You didn't get 10, better get 10 for I'm that. Sorry. Like unless, there's no, unless, there's no, unless there's questions on the British royal family, I'm not going to really. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nine of them were on the British royal family. Can you picture that? Damn it. <laughs> That fully seven about with uh, with the uh, you know uh, conspiratorial murder of uh, Princess Diana. What was the uh, topic on the first round? This, this and that. that. It, it was this or that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. It was kind of a, a uh, well, I don't know. Freaking. It was funny. Where's Paul? Where's Paul? I don't know if you guys have discussed this evening this new um, four-part series on PBS on um, public health and vaccination. No. Yeah. Uh, Peggy turned me on to it. It's fantastic. It's Peggy very good. On. What did you say? Peggy turns on? Yeah, Peggy uh, <laughs> turned me on to it. She showed me the link. Um, yeah, I came. Oh, Susan. Accident. It's very informative. It's it's so good. It's real. It'd be really good. It's not telling me anything I don't already know, but um, it it's really a good thing to show to anti vaxxers I think. Can you share it with me, please? Hello. If they're watching. If oh, they're watching. Getting so them Newman's, to watch. Us. Newman, that's good. Newman says he's bringing the DVD of the movie Man on a Swing. It's a fictionalization of what is perhaps the best documented case of police psychic. It stars Oscar winners Joel Gray and Cliff Robertson. <laughs> Ask Mark if he's seen it. I haven't. You haven't? Please, haven't. Oh, he has it. He says he has it, but I don't think I've ever seen it. I was trying to think of the name of the film, and I, I couldn't think of it a couple of weeks ago. You and Newman are on the same wavelength, yeah. I guess. So Mark's it's, sitting it's, right it's, here. Uh, speaking of things, um, where has Saunders been with last last week and this week? He says he's got a lot to do. I don't know where he's been. Really? Um, he's been in Sydney. <sighs> All right, okay, answers, I'm, Mike. I'm all anxious to hear the super difficult answers for this one. That was really good. Go ahead. Okay, the, uh, and I'm going to paste them all in the chat after I read them. Um, first one is Supreme Court Justice or Popular Thomas is an English Muslim, or Clarence Thomas. A privy or escort, escort customer is a John. A metal container or a... Uh, Neighboring countries' abbreviation of that Canada is can. A segment of filming or to remove something from someone is to take a take. Indefinite article or the highest grade is A. Shelley, Howie, and Huey are all famous people named Long or among things a suit measurement. So that is a kind of suit, a long suit. Something Susanna might do like an Egyptian or to get a quarter of the way home for free. That's Susanna was. Susanna Hoffs of the Bengals, who had the song Walk Like an Egyptian. And of course, if you get to first base, is a walk. Uh, take off, play off, blast off, or bug spray off. A type of sales recently in the news was short sales. And if you put a fork uh, out, that is also a kind of an electrical short. Uh, a beach feature, or with one, a place to get wicker is pier. You know, a pier on the beach, or pier one, famous uh, seller of wicker furniture. So um, there's the uh, Can you answer. guys read that in the chat? Can read that in the chat? Uh, yeah. No mystery yeah. topic for this one. And now the question. <laughs> I, I don't think they got it. 
Yes, we did. <laughs> Thomas John can take a long walk off a short pier. Isn't that great? <laughs> Very clever, Mike. Very clever. Thomas John guy is. He's, Look at Rob. That, Rob just got it. Rob just got it. Look at him. Is that anyone's nemesis or anything? I don't think so. That, Mike, that was just a coincidence that it turned out to be a sentence, but, right? You know, <laughs> random <laughs> things happen in the universe. Yeah. Some, somewhere a monkey also typed out the book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, Ooh, and, hey, and, hey. and hey. works of Shakespeare. And hey. Leonard was holding My it category. in his picture with his the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> So now the bonus question, which was way more difficult than uh, the regular questions. Um, the time difference between Ontario, Oregon and Panama City, Florida. Yeah. Ontario, Oregon is on the very uh, eastern edge of uh, Oregon and is actually in the mountain time zone. Oh, yeah. Really, Panama yeah. City yep. is in the panhandle and is in the central time zone. So the time difference is only one hour. <gasps> yep, we got that. Oh, I could have told you, uh, 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 I knew that Ontario was not on our time. Okay. I thought he was messing with us. But I cut out so much, I couldn't hear what, what was, I didn't that hear that. I didn't even know Florida had two time zones, Never mind. I didn't know that either. Yeah, that, I could have that told was you so that. surprising to me. Probably should have been, uh, Anyway, that that's it. We're that's that's all for uh, this or that. That was very good. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Good. Okay. Next so. time I am going to do places oh. to refill your hydrogen fuel cells. <laughs> uh, nice. So we better get on it. Right? That, that was fun, Mike. Good job. Okay. So scores: Milly Vanilli, Hungry Caterpillar. Ten, right? We had ten, oh, of course. Uh, throwing off spike proteins left and right. Nine. Nine? Yes. Wrong. Nine. We we, we missed we had a uh, short wrong. Short. Yeah. We're not stock people, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> well, apparently. I'm missing first, the chicken or the egg. Ten. I didn't catch that. Your sound cut out. Ten. We're the winner. Cyber Ninja says so. Eleven. <laughs> well, eleven. Eleven. Well, I, oh, I, wonder doesn't about count. This. I wonder about this, you guys. That was really sneaky because one team got nine, everybody else got ten, so they get Paula. Yeah, Paula good, your, good strategy. They're in last people. place. What type so of are you walking off? We did it. We're taking you like in basketball. You're trying to get the first draft. They didn't get it, Kyle. They didn't get but, it. But what was their answer for nine? Short. What was their answer for nine? Short. It was not short. Like no, no short we, we were thinking like, like shock whole, or jolt. Uh, we couldn't come up with a short. Yeah. Thomas you guys didn't off. get Thomas John could take a long. No, really really we short. never looked at yeah. it that way. No, we should have. Oh well. <laughs> Think outside the box. Paula, I mean Paula, Peggy read the answers back to us, and as as soon as she read them, it was like, wait, what? What did you say? <laughs> that was good. Very good. So the losers in last place is throwing off spike proteins left and right, which has been Deborah, Rob, Wilma, Newman, and, and now Paula. I think that was worth a point to get yeah, another I'm throwing off spike proteins anyway. So that's uh, I agree, Rob. That was our plan all along, right? Sure. And then <laughs> next time we'll have to lose two points. So the strategy is how many are you going to <laughs> gain, gain a person? person. Was, it, was it worth the gamble, though? Because you could have ended up with me. Oh, if, if you right, lose by right. one, If you lose right. by one point First in the time. end, it was a mistake. Uh, you, you, you've Brian. been a you've been a good player, mm -hmm. Brian. You come up with Paula gives you two answers. That's so right. You don't know that. That's right. I'm, I'm like the ahead. I'm like the equivalent of getting in a rundown between home plate and first base. <laughs> I think I saw that today. It's hilarious. <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> Brian. I'm putting well you on the team. team. Fantastic. Good job. Okay, so here we go. The next up, and the next, and the next is going to be who is it? Oh, it's Rob, Mr. Palmer. And you're on the screen somewhere. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm talking. Oh, I'm are. here. I'm here. So my category, as usual, I have a backdrop that indicates it. And today I'm actually wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. Hey, it works, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Which is a takeoff on what Richard Saunders, uh, Richard, uh, <laughs> Richard, Saunders, <laughs> Richard Dawkins said in a debate or something. He said, uh, science, it works, bitches. So... <laughs> Be, be gentle, Rob. Let, let's break the trend. I'm offended you're using my name in that way. 
<laughs> I think you need that t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so my category is <laughs> yeah, religion of the world. And I, I expect nobody to get a 10 this time. What is it? What is it? Religions of the world. So the challenge is. So they're all going to be about Jew Judaism, right? To tell me which religion is associated with each set of words or phrases I'm going to give you. Are they all different? And I did not use multiple choice. So that's why I'm not expecting anyone to get a 10. Oh, you're going to do, you're going to do, um, oh, good. No multiple choice. That's better. No multiple choice. Good. Can, can religions be used more than once? Um, no, I did not do that. Okay, okay. good. Good to know. Okay. Ready to meet everybody? You get, you get the denominations. Did they spell out a secret message? <laughs> <laughs> not saying. What is every oh, cool. not every saying. answer is BS. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, could you clarify if religions could be used? You say you did not do that. So what, what does that mean? You did not allow for that? or No, no. Somebody asked if, if I'm going to use the same one more than once. I did not do that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Every Anything answer, else? every all 10 answers are unique. Wait, there's 10 religions. <laughs> okay, you're in trouble. <laughs> you are in trouble. Okay. Everyone, everyone through one, though. Everyone, everyone muted? Everyone all right. Muted? Muting in three, two, one. Boom. Okay, hopefully you can all hear me now. So, number one, baptism for the dead, quorum of the 12 apostles. Number two, church of spiritual technology. Doesn't that sound scientific? An office of special affairs. Question number three, Geb, Nut, and Shu, Duat, and the Book of the Dead. If I have things without, uh, so put it this way, if I put a semicolon between things, they're kind of different concepts, but if they're just in a phrase, they kind of go together. Number four is, Kipa, tell it, and for Sitsit. Number five, Lucian Greaves, Seven Fundamental Tenets, and Baphomet. Number six, Resurrection of the 144,000 Righteous and Kingdom Halls. Number seven. And I'm not sure you pronounce that. Tafsir and five pillars. Number eight. Tatoris and Pythia. I'm sure I'm butchering, butchering pronunciations. Number nine. Transubstantiation and the extreme unction. And lastly, but not leastly, hmm, Virocha, Hanapaka, Ukapaka, Urinpaka, and Kepaka. Also, Condor, Puma, and Snake. And that's it. Any questions? Are these all extant religions? Mm. What's an extant? Well, well, that depends. You can always find someone, because I've heard on the atheist experience, people saying, well, no one believes in the Greek gods anymore. And then you get somebody who calls in who says they don't do. So I'm not going to say are, that. Are, 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 are different extant to, is what you use to determine your latitude. Are different categories of a giant religion considered different religions or specifically Christianity, or is it? Or is Christianity just one thing? There is nothing that's as vague as, as that specifically here. No, Christianity is not an answer. Just say that. Good questions. I like it nice and tight. I don't like the multiple choice things. They take me forever to paste them in our <laughs> thing. So I like this. This is perfect. All right, here we go. Everybody. We like multiple choice, Susan. No, we don't. We hate them. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian and Paula, let's put you in your new rooms. 
I will see, I will see uh, throwing off spike proteins in a minute. Okay, so. Brian, put me in my room. Welcome, Brian. You are on this team. Okay, and Paula, God, I'm moving so slow. I know all the answers. Move me to my room. Go. Okay, I'm going to my room. Oh, I'm going to the same room Paula's in. Finally moved me here. I'm in here too, so shut your mouth. <laughs> I know. Uh oh, we gotta we gotta behave ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Paula knows them. <laughs> I know a bunch. Mark knows a bunch. I know a bunch, but not all. Okay, go for okay. it. Is it, can you guys see the screen? Is it yeah. sharing right? Yeah. Okay. So this yeah. is Mormonism. Mormon. First Number one, yeah. They also say the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Oh, right. What this for one number is two? Who is Scientology? Put a capital. Put a d Hold dollar on, sign. Too, for too many the people S. are talking. Wh which put one? Put a dollar for... sign for the S. Dollar yeah. sign for the S. Scientology. So, two is Scientology. You spelled it wrong. Yeah. I haven't finished writing it yet. <laughs> you spelled it yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a terrible typist. So wait. You spelled Hold it on. wrong. The S. There you go. Put. It, that's how. There, you, there you go. All right. Sorry. My, my apologies. Susan, Susan, Kelly, Kelly just joined. The, she's in the main room, so I don't know if you got to do something. Yeah, I admit, I admitted her, but she's in the main room, so I don't I'll, know what I'll put her in a thing. Okay. okay. I gotta put her. Okay. okay. Number okay. three. Ancient Egyptian. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Kelly's in the last room. For Judaism. Oh, that's what I had. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah. Four tits, tits. Is that how you spell that? Is that correct? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And this one's a Satanic. I have that too. This is a Satanic Temple. It's the newer Satanic yeah, Temple. Yeah, Satanic Temple. version. <laughs> well, well, I'm having trouble hearing. I'm sorry. Satanic, satanic temple. temple. Satanic. Okay. It kept cutting no, out. No, Temple. Down. Satanic Temple, not just Satanic. It has to be the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah. It's Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's not the resurrection. The 144,000 go and they become rulers, and everyone else that's right just, just lives on a perfect earth. Right. We all die, though, and we get eaten by birds and animals. Lovely. How oh, fun. Looking forward to it. This one, I have no idea. By Heaven is Islam. That's Islam? No wonder. That's Islam. Five Islam. pillars. Yeah. Oh. Tart Tartarus? Ancient I Greek. He was a yeah. he was a sufferer in ancient Greek um, philosophy uh, religion. That's Not Catholicism. as Catholicism. Yeah, it would be Roman yeah. Catholicism. Roman yeah. Catholicism. Yeah, because he said it wasn't going to be as not right. yeah. as 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 broad, right? So we want right. to say Roman. Wait, is it nine? <clears throat> nine is an ancient Greece. It's Gnosticism, isn't it? Tart. No, Pythos. no, that's ancient Greek. It's pre, it's pre, um, uh, it's pre any of the uh, uh, Christian, um, Jewish, or Muslim religion. It's ancient Greek. But Mark, you're talking about number eight or number eight nine? Or nine. He's, talking eight. he's talking about eight because he can't see the screen from where he's at. Tartius and Pythra. Tartarus. Tartarus and Pythia. They say it's Greek. I didn't know. But if Mark knows something, I just I didn't know there was anything. It's just a Greek, real, Greek, a Greek, ancient religion. Greek, ancient Greek, ancient Greek. You know, with Zeus and Hera and right. But didn't he say he didn't reuse anything? And we have ancient Greek for number eight. We have. That's what we're talking about. Is number eight right? Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought we were moving on to ten. My bad. I don't know. No, what we haven't. This one ten is ten. I is classical Incan. Yeah, Inca, how do you it. know that? I went to Peru like a year and a half ago. It seems like forever now. Do we just and want Incan, do or do we actually need classic Incan? Is there a just yeah. well, just Incan? Okay, I wasn't sure if we needed to distinguish between that no. or not. That's not uh, the and it's, it's Incan, no. because the Incans were just the uh, the actual rulers. Oh, the yeah, the not I can. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm like, why does that not look right? Wow. This is amazing. I'm so glad we got I'm Paula. Like, Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I know two. my fake religions, man. 
I knew two of them. That's okay, it. <laughs> I knew one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I would have guessed Roman Catholic. Too, I knew yeah. like at least six of them. Did my spelling correct? I knew six. Right, uh, we got everything. That's wonderful. I missed. I missed the answer on number seven. What was it? The five pillars. Uh, Islam. Islam. So, okay. do people, does somebody need to read there's, these out to make sure they probably... don't have a hidden message in the answers? <laughs> Like the first letter of each head word. messages stay yeah. away. <laughs> I'm surprised number two is actually Scientology because he said, like, isn't that scientific? I thought, okay, well, it's obviously not Scientology, but it has to be, right? That's yeah. Scientology. Office yeah, yeah. Paula Scientology. would know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Paula would know. Besides anything, it's well, the Office, office of Special of Affairs is also yeah. a dead giveaway for Scientology. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that I up. thought he kind of gave that one away. It was technically. I think he did. I think he did. Or accidentally. Or Rob, Rob gave it away. All right, so great job, everybody. Yay, I'm glad people knew things. We're gonna break the curse. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Isabella's here. Isabella! Oh, how cool! Hi. I, I thought I I thought I'd join because we have some visitors over and I'm tired. So I thought I'd just oh, that's join fantastic. for a few minutes. Yeah. We were just we'll probably stay a round you. or two, but yeah. <laughs> two. They're just coming back from the second round. Everybody okay, perfect. Um, the first round, 10 out of 10. Okay. Second round, well, almost everybody got 10. And then the second round, um, we're coming back. Everybody's got it too. So yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. We had my graduation was like, oh, look. I thought I figured you were, I said, I just said, uh, yeah, I was not going to be here because she's, she's partying. Out. I'm not partying. We just had dinner and I'm bored. And so I was like, oh, I'll join for a, nice a round or so. Well, we're yeah. going fast tonight. We didn't expect to see you. Yeah, I I got bored, and my we have some family members over, and they're all chatting and having a glass uh, of wine. So I thought I'd. I join. just mentioned but you your got name. all graduated and stuff. Yeah, we we our ceremony. It was they split it, so there's 600 people in my class. So half went at 10:30, and half went at 2:30. I was in the 2:30 group. And the ceremony was only like an hour or so. But what they did was they sectioned the parents off into little groups. So the parents got really, really good views of us graduating. Oh, that's so great. It was fun. I got to oh, say hello to my friends. I got to take See here, pictures. Isabella. Your hair yeah. is so cute. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> it was all curly. So I just yeah. tied it up. I'm going to take a shower later. But yeah. you, don't, you don't look any different. Are you, you, you... <laughs> I yes, don't feel much different. I got, a little bit, I got a little bit misty after, like when we were doing, we were changing our, uh, our little cords from the right to the left. But besides 
that I was just kind of like ready to be out you of did here. Did that in high school? You're graduating right, class not right to left. That's larger than my entire high school. <laughs> what yeah, happens? There's... Hmm? No, what happens if you're dyslexic you, and, you, and you can't figure out which way to go? Do you still yeah. graduate? Different Actually, religion. that happened when I was walking because they, they did was they had us walking two lines in the. I was on the right side, but I was sitting on the left side. So they had us like split and then go around the opposite seating area and then come back up and around. So I got very confused and it was very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> There's That's always right. that one. Stand out. That's wonderful. And somehow that right. made your hair that way. <laughs> and it's funny, Isabella, I just was talking about you like just like 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, to, um, uh, yes, Peggy, I gotcha. Um, I was just talking about you because Mark's sitting here and Hamilton's on his lap. And, yeah. I, and Mark said, we're going to have how many people here on Sunday? I said, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 people. He goes, the cats are going to freak out. I said, <laughs> he goes, they're all going to run away. Hamilton's going to hide. I said, well, Hamilton better not because Isabel is coming here just. Well, did you see my graduation cap? I did like a whole Hamilton theme. <laughs> I don't oh, have it. Hamilton. It's in the other room, but I did a there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait next stop nursing school. It's oh, on my Facebook. If anyone wants to go check it out, I just posted it. But oh, yeah. I just listened to Hamilton for the entire car. Oh, yeah. Right. Susan has the, Robin has it pulled just up. Just you wait. There's a picture but... there. Robin's got it. Very good. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I was like one of the only people that actually decorated their caps because they never actually officially told us that we couldn't. And so a couple of people did, but anyways yeah so that was it that's terrific <laughs> that was my that's exciting day well and then tomorrow I'm glad you're I'm having, here. this is the exciting part now because you're here with us you know tomorrow i'm having a group of friends a couple of my my mom said i could invite 10 friends because everyone's fully vaccinated so we're all just going to hang out in the backyard and eat food and be loud and watch a couple movies so i'm excited oh that's terrific <laughs> yay good well saturday yeah. saturday you're busy too probably right yeah, I have another party on Saturday, and then I have your party, which I'm psyched for. Well, I was going to say, there's going to be people at my house on Saturday, too. Okay, so maybe I'll, I'll be, maybe if you get bored, you can by. come we'll you can see. out with us. Yeah. All right, so everybody ready? Let's get the answers. Come on, guys. That was easy. Okay. That was really good, Rob. We got it. Karen, but, uh, so so did, did the curse get broken? Yes. Did my, follow, did my team follow, follow, we'll yeah, I, I, think, I think we did. Did good, Rob. We'll I think did really okay. Good. Hope you did me well. So this was a shirt I wore at PsyCon when I pretended to be an evangelical preacher and the Richard uh, um, Dawkins. Dawkins they can't, in, what does this say in the back? They can't all be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's got to be really clear. Yep. Yep. So yeah, my, me as an evangelical was wearing that without a sense of uh, irony. Uh, Okay, so hopefully people got at least eight here, maybe more. Um, okay, number one is the LDS or Mormons. Yep. All right. Come on, give the, give the full name. Church of <laughs> Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There you go. Baptism sure some, is a baptism, sure some respect. By, <laughs> baptism by proxy for those who died without being baptized into the church, including Ooh. people who died in the Holocaust. They've baptized into the Mormon church. Yeah. Uh, and the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles is one of the governing bodies in the church hierarchy. Members are apostles with the calling to be prophets, seers, uh, evangelical ambassadors, and special witnesses of Jesus Christ. Special witness program? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> also Battlestar Galactica original. Number two is, yeah, I was actually contemplating a fictional religion. I, said, I might do that at some point. There's enough of them. Um, all yeah, right, Church cool. of Scientology. <laughs> Church of Scientology. So that is um, the uh, Church of Spiritual Technology is the most secret organization in Scientology. It owns all the copyrights of all the Scientology material and the bulk of founder L. Ron Hubbard's estate. Its aim is to preserve the works of Hubbard on stainless steel tablets encased in titanium capsules and specially constructed vaults throughout the world. In addition, the group maintains fully furnished homes in multiple locations intended to eventually accommodate the reincarnated L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> I just want to say author services is what ha uh, handles uh, L. Ron Hubbard's fictional works. Okay. And, and, and they released uh, one of the best <laughs> movies ever made. <laughs> oh, God. Battlefield uh, Earth. One of, one of the only <laughs> movies that I've ever 
walked out of the it theater. was it was horrible i do remember <laughs> yeah. that. Like we, i think pirates. i think we watched the first i don't know 15 and, and, and as people we don't out. know uh, l ron hubbard was a science fiction author of uh, you know <laughs> little little quality but he decided yeah. the only way he said publicly he's on record uh, video the only way to make money is to become a religion i don't and think it's on he, video that's yeah on video. I, i've seen him saying that which is what boggles uh, my like mind that people believe it. So yeah. it's just like a big link. tax write off. Nothing them, boggles my mind after this past year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and the, all right. So, in the Office of Special Affairs is the Department of the Church of Scientology, which has been characterized as a non state intelligence agency. It targets critics of the church by mounting character assassination organizations against them, operations. All right, now we go a little bit into uh, a little bit older religion. So just a little bit. Again, a little Machu, bit? Duat, Book of the Dead. That is ancient Egyptian. Uh, the, f the first three names were the Egyptians. Uh, the Egyptians saw the earth as a flat expanse of land. Uh, sounds familiar. Personified by the god Geb, over which the arched the sky goddess Nut, and the two were separated by Shu, the god of air. Duat is the realm of the dead. In other words, hell. And the Book of the Dead is an ancient Egyptian funerary text generally written on papyrus consisting of magical spells intended to assist a dead person's journey through the duat. Number four is Judaism. And uh, the kippah is, uh, I had never actually heard that pronunciation before, but that is- And neither had I. A yarmulke, interesting. It's kippah, not okay. kippah. Thank you. And how do you, how do you pronounce that last part, Leonard? Tzitzit. Seat seat. Okay. Seat seat. And it's talit. Talit and seat seat. Talis. Uh, it's a talis. It, that, uh, that's, that's a difference in dialect. Yes. Okay. The that's S's and the Yiddish. Are in the Yiddish. So for those who don't know what they're talking about, that's a prayer shawl and the tassels found on the corners are the seat seat. Seat seat. Seat seat is plural already. Thank you. Thank you. Number five is the one I'm a member of and I'm a card carrying member, the Satanic Temple. Lucian Greaves is a spokesman for the Satanic Temple, the seven fundamental tenets. Well, every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. And Baphomet is a goat-headed angel wing uh, uh, um, deity. He has figured prominently in challenges regarding the display of the Ten Commandments in government buildings. Oh, no, well, maybe a couple. Number six. How do you spell Jehovah? Who's going on? Is Jehovah's Witnesses or J JWs? H O V A. H. I'm going to put the answers in. So, uh, hey, so the 144,000 <laughs> witnesses believe that this many humans go to heaven at death, but their majority are to be resurrected by God to a cleansed earth after Armageddon. Uh, and I have had so many calls on recovering from religions from coming out of that religion. And people were so afraid to be shunned because then they'd you know, not be in that first group. Um, uh, the uh, Tafsir, I can't pronounce it. Tafsir, Tafsir, and the five pillars are Islam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first is a Quranic uh, attempt to provide elucidation, explanation, interpretation of the commentary for a clear understanding of God's will. And the five pillars are the core principles in Islam, which are considered obligatory for all believers. The Quran presents them as a framework for worship and a sign of commitment to that faith. Number eight. I don't know how hard or easy this one is. I, I wasn't going to put Zeus and Athena, but that was too easy. So yes, it is ancient Greek. Aha, good job. Tardis is the deep abyss used as a dungeon of torment and suffering for the wicked. Sounds a little like hell. And Pythia is the high priestess of the temple of Apollo at Delphi, otherwise known as the Oracle of Delphi. Transubstantiation. The sequel of Delphi. <laughs> Transubstantiation and extreme unction are Roman Catholicism. And transubstantiation is the change of the whole substance of the bread into the substance of the body of Christ and the wine into his blood. And this is not a metaphor or simile to Roman Catholics, supposedly. Except I've actually never met one who actually believed that. Some people tell me, no, you're crazy. That's not the doctrine. <laughs> yeah, it is, look it up. An extreme I unction know. is anointing of the sick. It's a sacrament uh, administered. Uh, and you can get this even if you're not dying, apparently. If you just reach the age of reason and you're in danger, quote unquote, of, of sickness due to old age, you can have the sacrament. Huh. Uh, and number 10, I would bet the most difficult one. Did anybody say the Inca religion? Yes. 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 
Okay. Oh, and I just come back from there. <laughs> what? I think, I well, not this year. A year and a half ago. So thankfully. And, and I learned that you don't call the people there uh, Incans. That was only the rulers. The regular people were, were Quechua. And that's Good. a language they still that's still spoken widely in, in Peru right now. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Paula. Thank, Thank you, you, Paula. <laughs> so the Varachi is the creator dignity in the mythology. Uh, Hanapaka and all the rest of that um, was the realm of creation, including the upper world and the outer earth. And uh, the condor, puma, and snake are the realms of creation. were represented by these animals, They're representing in order the uh, upper world, the outer earth, and the inner earth. I thought that was the Chinese menu. <laughs> so there you go. Hope you like that. Wonderful. Very good category. Glad you didn't include the uh, multiple choice because it's so much easier. And it's faster when we don't have it. OK, here we go. <laughs> for you. So, so we're going to the losing team first for the score, which was the team I was on this time. This time. This time. Throwing off spike proteins left and right. And. Yeah. All yes. right. What went missing job, first, Robin. the chicken or the egg? Ten. All right. I didn't catch that. Your sound cut out. Ten. <laughs> Millie Vanilli Hungry Caterpillar. One. What? We got nine. Woo. And, and number 10. We're, I mean, in number 10, in the last one, we're not the, we're the winner. Cyber Ninja says so. Also nine. Okay, so one of you is going to get Isabella. Let's see. I think <laughs> it'll be this one. Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, so these as teams I'm telling throwing... you, it's not always a good idea to, to, to have the top score every time because as people join, I had to just think you get a new person in your group. All these people throwing their scores. All right, yeah, throwing your sword. I wouldn't use it. You guys go. Somebody had said, "Well, we could we could say we got eight, and that way we could get Isabella." See, it's called sandbagging. <laughs> yeah, is that what it's called? Sandbagging. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. job, guys. Here's the here's the um, screen with the the points, but it's pretty obvious where we're at. Nineteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, and nineteen. I've never seen it so close. We're gonna need a perfect score to win. It's it, well, I don't know. Somebody might just now blow it. Never happened. One. Three more categories. Yeah, well, we're doing really well now. So the next, right. next, we're, group... we're being lulled into a false sense of security. <laughs> <laughs> so the we next one, up the slaughter. The next one is Punch Kyle. and Judy Part Two. So let me give Kyle. Are you hiding behind my screens? Where are you, Kyle? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Oh, you are hiding behind the screen. Miles, right? turn. We're in for trouble. <laughs> well, it's going to be It's going to read all the answers. It could be a more perfect score because I picked a pretty easy category. Uh -huh. <laughs> the topic is metrology, the study of measurement. Oh, spell, spell that word. I put it in the chat. Oh, metrology. I used to have it in my bio, but people kept mispronouncing it as meteorology, which I don't know anything about. <laughs> no, is it going to rain tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the weather going to be like? <laughs> yeah, so it's been a long time to find out. We'll kick it off. You're sure it's not the study of large cities? Mm. Really sure. Yahoo. Okay. I'm going to be muting in hey, three. Are we not breaking? Oh yeah, we need to do a break. They gotta take the cats. Oh, are we gonna do a break right now? Okay. We need to take a break well, because we do dogs to pee with. All right. All right. So everybody, forget what we're doing right now. Don't look at the chat. Ooh, wait a minute. I see a question already. <laughs> mm. We have extra time to think about question one. Okay. So before we, Avi, you're gonna stay a little bit because we want to sing happy birthday. That goes the perfect score. Yeah, I'm gonna stay until the happy birthday, I guess. Okay, so we'll sing it last. <laughs> he sounds so excited about it. Oh, I'm All right, five excited. minute break. Five minutes, guys. Get, go Susan, come back. Yes. I'm just going to play like the next round and then I'm going to leave because my mom has like a dessert for me. So oh, well, she can I'm just here for, for one round. <laughs> she can bring it for everybody. So don't you guys look up media, whatever it is. Isabella, did you, did you play the religion round? Hmm? Oh, no. Did I showed up like 10 oh. minutes ago. 
I forgot that, well, what happened was we have some of our family friends over mm -hmm. and the, the adults are all drinking wine and socializing. So I thought I'd just come in here while they finish up with their thing. And then Wait, they're, not, they're not letting you have any wine now that you're not a high school kid anymore? I don't like alcohol. Oh. It tastes yucky. Like there were these girls in the parking lot yeah. day that were shotgunning white claws after the graduation. That's what, and I was what? joking with what? my dad and I was like, hey, can you get me a white claw afterwards? I can shotgun it in the parking lot. I don't even know what that is. It's like, it's a, like a, it's a boozy seltzer in there. Yeah. Alcohol. It's, it's a, like, it's a, it's a, it's a combination of vault, vodka flavored seltzer and some malt stuff. Think it's, of sparkling water, but with alcohol and that's the white cloth. But it's, it's I, also, it also is malted. Make, yeah. It a feeling yeah. I've nice. had it before. It isn't, I didn't really like it. I, I'd honestly rather just have a sparkling water. Mm. Um, I'm not a big fan of the taste of most alcohol, but um, try tiki drinks. I think you will enjoy them. Yeah. So. Amaretto, amaretto, and orange juice or cranberry juice. I had a little oh, bit of champagne amaretto in the glass. And and that was White Claw is even better than Zima, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. use our Try ice cream many. maker as a margarita <laughs> machine. <and it's> <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody had a scorpion bowl? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Scorpion bowl? Is that, it, that sounds like it's dangerous. Yeah. It's a, it's a bunch of yeah. rum. Pineapple juice and fruit, and, and then in a bowl that has a volcano that's lit in the middle on fire. Oh, uh, that sounds delicious. It's really good. Yum. My Captain Mary, Morgan, I like a good old fashioned uh, Kahlua and good. cream. Yeah, it's good too. Yeah, if you like coffee, that's good. I don't like coffee. What's funny is I don't like coffee, but I like coffee flavored mm, things. Weird. It's weird. Right. Like coffee ice cream is good, but like oh, regular Jamaica. coffee, oh. you know. I, I don't know. Yeah, coffee kids, doesn't agree with me. My kids love coffee ice cream, and I'm like, have a cup of coffee. They're like, nah, no thanks, man. No. I'm so sensitive I, I, to that flavor, not liking it. My wife will get something like a drink of Baskin Robbins that's vaguely coffee, but she says, oh, you don't even taste the coffee. And I'll take a sip, and it's and that's all you taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I like gonna, coffee. I, I want to break in here. Just hello. My. Can hello, you hear me? Yep. I'm yep. trying to get. I'm trying to get the main screen. Doesn't seem to work. I just wanted to feature my picture. I just changed it. Oh, today. I can. Oh wait, I can't. I don't have powers, but somebody can spotlight you, who has powers. That would be like Susan Deborah. or Deborah. That would be uh, Deborah who's up. not there right now. Oh, sorry. Are you racing? Let me. All right. Let me. Okay, it won't. Yeah, whatever. Check it in, check it in gallery view, I guess. I don't know why it. What are you trying to, to show us? Oh, I, I changed my picture. I changed my uh, profile picture um, every so often. I changed it today. It's kind of a it's kind of a fun one. So the the hot fun in the summertime. Yeah. Those your grandchildren. <laughs> That's an old picture. That's like 1950s or 60s. That's my brother and I. <laughs> Aww. I didn't mean I, to date you. I didn't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I I've posted that on Facebook, and usually it usually there's no problem, but every so often I get it gets taken down. So so this is being recorded and is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So now they're going to have to delete this video, you know. Oh no. <laughs> Well, no nudity is allowed. <clears throat> Unless you're a kitten. Oh. Well, then they, they're wearing their fur coats. Really close to the camera. The kittens are wearing their fur coats. It's okay. Oh, Kevin, uh, is, is that the drink that we were talking about? That's the scorpion bowl, and the girl is mm. topless, so you can see boobies, so we'll get oh. <laughs> Another reason for this to be demonetized, as they say. I think it's a guy. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we back. We're back. <laughs> Never left here. Never left. Never left. Don't, okay, so don't ever uh, leave us alone again. Don't. And we'll only get into mischief. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I recorded all that. Apparently, I see so. a chicken. Is that a cat oh, or a chicken? It's a oh, it's cat. a cat. It's a cat. Kitten. I'm, I'm not a cat, that. Judge. They, so they, they, they decided they really like the camera. We, so we got to sing to Avi so he's. I will, but we'll do announcements first. 
So uh, just torturing Avi. Really cool. Uh, poor poor Avi. What do you got, Jim? I mean, Newman, what do you got for um, what the, what the fact? <laughs> Go fact yourself. Go fact yourself. Go fact yourself. <laughs> Go fact yourself. What the fact? <laughs> what the fact was a working title for about a second when, <laughs> when we were developing it. I have no idea. It's been so long since we recorded an episode. Um, okay. I think we're still... right. The current one is a, a clip show of the best of TV. And so I don't know what's coming up next. But okay. tune in to go fact yourself. Go fact Find someone out. you like. Which is the mystery listen. episode upcoming. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, Kyle, what's what's coming up on Data Skeptic? Well, the latest on Data Skeptic is an episode with an Australian statistician. We talk about time series analysis and specifically the team he's on that reports predictions about COVID-19 to the Australian government. Maybe he should come play trivia with us. <laughs> Maybe uh, time zones are tricky, but I'll, I'll let them well, know. No, it's Australia to here. It's good. So it'd probably be oh, during right. the work day. Oh, yeah. It's like more. You're right. Australia could work. I'll let them know. Maybe. Oh, Works well, fine that, for Richard. Good. Very True. good. That's data skeptic for anybody who's paying attention. Thank you very much. Yes. And um, the other announcements I had was that not this next week coming up, which is I have Carl, Kevin, Jeff, Mono, and the bonus is Peggy. Does that sound right? For the 6th yeah. of June? No, the 3rd yeah. of June? It's fine by me. OK, that's what I have written down. The week after that, which is June 10th, is going to be our one year anniversary. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew that. And that's very exciting. And what else? I think that was what I was supposed to say on that. And you're going to do the everything that day. I'm going to do everything on that week. And then I have, a, like, on the 17th, I have a couple of people, Peggy and Karen. Yeah, I have one for that day if you want. And, okay. And also keep in mind, those people who don't play, who haven't been really been doing categories, I'd really like to hear from you. And next week, uh, we are having a party. If you can get here on the 30th, that would be great. Yeah, I already mentioned that. Okay, so now we're all going to sing to Avi. And considering that we're a little uh, on Zoom, it'll be a little off, which is great. So sing it at whatever pace you want. And if I get a chance, I will cut it and put it up on your Facebook page so you can listen to it over and over again, Avi, okay? Mm. This is birthday's tomorrow. Kelly, I think it was Kelly's birthday also a couple of days ago, right? Yesterday, yeah. Uh, really? So Kelly and Avi. All right. So it's Kelly and Avi's birthday. So let's sing them happy birthday. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly and Avi. Happy birthday, happy birthday. We start yet or <laughs> <laughs> I was that was tuning that out. Really attracted the cat's attention. <laughs> Couple My of cats left the room. Oh, it was painful. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to make a video clip of that. That'll be great. So could, <laughs> could oh don't bother. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> could somebody do a, a screenshot. Wait, Jane left. Where'd Jane just go? She says, I'm out of here. <laughs> that was she that heard was... us singing. It was like, no. No one came back. Is There's Jane Danny gone, gone, or is she no, just. Jane's, Jane's here. Jane's oh. there. Jane's there. Oh, Are she we... just flipped off of my screen. Are we ready? What? Wait, it went black. Paula, are you here? Jane, Paula's are you there? there? We're ready we're now. I see Paul. I see Jane, Jane's we can't hand. see you. Oh. I see her hand. Kitty cat. Oh, she Jeff's seems got to it. Have, uh, Jane seems oh, to have first. Over here, Mark, and be with this us. is our foster one fail. Of our Who cats? Oh, this is the one we kept. You actually kept one? Yeah, oh. this one. Are we going to get uh, a fail? Okay, Susan, ready? are we going to get Mark? Oh, that's the other one. No, uh, Mark says he doesn't want to get out of the chair. He's comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Can you tilt your webcam? No. Uh, all right. And Jane is frozen, so all we have is her hand covering half her face. <laughs> Uh -oh. Jane? Oh, no, her screen just went off. I see a totally blank screen. I see yeah, it just, it just turned I see black. Her phone still. 
We'll put a picture in there. Oh, there she went. I think. Bye -bye. And now she's gone. Okay, so. Well, let's do we'll a give it. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, picture. Yeah, all right, let's do one more just for mm -hmm. shits and giggles. Three, two, one. All righty. All right. I want Avi's picture. He looks good. Good night, everybody. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday oh, too, Avi. I love you. Oh, do we have to sing again? Oh, no. No, no, no we're, we're done. done. We're done. We're done. We did that. that was Happy fun. birthday too, Kelly. Are we being punished? Or? Yeah, really. <laughs> That was horrible. Really, okay, really so it's Kyle kid. Stern. I wonder what his category is going to be. Well, it's metrology. Really? Oh, What's that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the study right. of measurements. Meteor, study of meteor, meteors. And I'll repost question one here to get us. I thought it was metrology. Okay, and I'm going to mute everybody <laughs> in three, two, one. Veto. All right. And question one. The international prototype of the kilogram, the ICP, was the definition of the kilogram from 1875 until the new definition came into effect in this year. What is the exact year? No plus or minus. Nope, there are two years I will accept, but plus or minus would be three. I will accept the correct year or one year later, just because of the way news worked. Question number two, on a related SI topic, according to H. Arthur Klein's classic, The Science of Measurement, a Historical Survey, first edition, as early as 1954, a great controversy emerged at the 10th General Conference of Weights and Measures. This debate was whether or not to redefine a measurement. What unit of measure was it? Question three. What is a cubit? And it is not the same as a cubit. Question four, we've got a multiple choice. The question is, what is, or the Scoville heat unit, SHU, is a measurement of, four choices, the degree to which a jazz improvisationalist strays from the predictable phrasing, the temperature of certain classes of stars, which can be inferred based on radio infer, sorry, interferometry data. Uh, it, option C, the punginess, spiciness, or all around heat of chili peppers. And the final option, the ability for fiberglass-based insulation to retain heat specifically under heavy rainfall. All right, question five, another multiple choice. Which item does not appear in Wikipedia's list of humorous units of measurement? A Sagan, a Mickey, a Kobayashi, or a Warhol? Question six. After the Sicilian naval disaster of 1707, the British government offered a 20,000 pound prize for anyone who could determine longitude accurately. The reward was eventually claimed by a Yorkshire carpenter, John Harrison, who dedicated his life to improving the accuracy of clocks. In what year did he finally claim his prize? And we'll do plus or minus five on this one. All right, I'm going to put an image into the chat. The next three questions, you need to look at this image. I can put it on the screen if anyone's having trouble downloading it or whatever. Hopefully at least one person in the group can get it. So question seven, eight, and nine refer to that image. Maybe some general nods if you guys have it. Can, can you post, show it? Because I can't see it. Oh, sure. Let me share my screen. And if you put a link in the chat, it did not show up. I uploaded the file to the chat, or at least I tried to. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I was able to click in and open it. Really? It didn't open for me. I'll well, share either way. Mine downloaded to my download folder, and then I was able to open it there. Oh, that's too many steps. All right. Do you guys now have an image? 
No, that's scary. Yeah, but it's all numbers. It's all it's very lines. figure outable. By by its very definition, it's figure outable. Ah, ah. <laughs> by its very definition. Wait, is this the Drake equation? No, but uh, no, no, no guessing out loud, Susan. Yeah. It says the word Drake. It gives me top. nightmares. Also a clue. That's literally giving me nightmares. So I question think. seven. You're scaring me. What does the A with the circle above it stand for? Who would question, know that? Question eight. What does one what does the E in one E represent? And I'll put all three of these in the chat in a moment. And question nine, what do these circles represent? Uh, these circles in the upper left. I don't know how to get the chat back, so I'm gonna close this to get to it. And there are seven, eight, and nine. On to our final question for the metrology round. Question 10, one of these things is not like the other. 6.022 times 10 to the minus 23, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth, and six or 2.60 times 10 to the 22. One of these things is not like the other. All righty. <sighs> Looks well thought out. Somebody grow. <laughs> that was Rob. You could tell Rob's a grown. <laughs> I'm just thinking that Avi is going to really be kicking himself. I now. know a couple of these. I it's it. all around again. Bowling scores tonight. I can do this. I can do a couple of them. All right. Good job. Let's go. Come on, team. We can do this. I'm going to be on a team. Oh, I got to put everybody on teams. Okay, so. Jane is on the first team. So she needs to go on. Hi, Susan. Millie Vanilli. And Isabella needs to go. Oh, look at Jeff's little cat. The kitties. Aw. Okay, yeah. bye, Susan. See you later. And the other one is Jeff's iPad. Okay, so I'm going to go over to what went missing first, the chicken or the egg. I think it was recent. It was very recent. I remember the controversy about ooh, about six years ago when they were debating this whole issue. So I would be comfortable with 2017. Number or 2015, two. if it was six years ago. Well, the, 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 the debate about changing it was. Oh, I see. And, but they hadn't decided. Okay. Yeah, they redefined the kilogram from one specific object to something related to the energy contained in a certain amount of mass that now equals one kilogram something like that okay number two is it pi no no I pi is not a unit of measure yeah i'm wondering whether it's time i'm sorry time time where they changed uh as the unit of time to the certain uh, uh, related to the frequency of the cesium atom that they did change it i'm not sure that that was the year they changed that well that's a good guess is it the fundamental unit of time or was it the second the second okay i do remember that there was some controversy about that a few years ago wasn't there you're thinking of the kilogram the kilogram well, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of time i remember something about them adding a second or a half yeah, a that, quarter of a second in or something that yeah, they that, weren't that sure they should do it yeah they had to change this uh, that but that they just had to add a second it wasn't a controversy it was just a, a nuisance oh. <laughs> number three what's a cubit isn't that from the bible yeah it is isn't that what, the, the distance of the hand? noah's ark i is think a, i think alan is right it's something to do with the span of the hand or something right the hand or the foot was it a foot no 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 i think it's they always talk about the hand i'm almost sure it's, it's related to the hand but don't trust me but i i think it just i i, I know for sure that it has a, a half hands. mark says it's one and a half hands where'd you hear that from a guy with one and a half hands mark <laughs> says he went to bible school <laughs> 
that seems like an odd way to define it, you know, unless they had very big hands. Unless it was two hands. Well, we happen? still use hands to, to measure horses and a hand is this much. But we don't call it a cubit, right? No, we call it a hand. You should use your hand to clean it too. <laughs> All right, let's say the hand then. It's a one and a half hand unit. If nobody has a better answer. One no. and a half hands, it is. Wait, do you no. want to say, Mark says he's just guess, guessing. He's okay if you guys change it, but he thinks it's hand. No, I, I, the half, a hand, the half, so. half a hand's what's kind of weird, you know, but I do yeah. think it's something to do with the hand. Let's just say a hand. Let's say a hand. So number two, we're still, we still say it's a second. Yes. Do we settle on that? Number four is C. It's the spice I, piece of chilies. I agree. Yeah, I heard of that. Scoville. Scor yeah. Scoville. Mm -hmm. What is it? C what? C is the peppers. The heat of peppers is the Scoville. Peppers. Okay, I know there's a Sagan. I know for sure it's billions and billions. Um, I don't know what a Mickey is. Kobayashi? Oh, that's, a hot, that's an amount of hot dogs. Oh yeah. How about a Warhol? Oh, yeah. I think I've heard of a Warhol. I'll Isn't bet you it... a Warhol is 15 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, so that's that's that. So I do Mickey. wonder. Oh, is Kobayashi is... the guy who the hot dog eating champion guy? Yeah, Kobayashi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A measurement of hot dogs that's really and I think it's like 47 or something like that. <laughs> you guys have heard of he, he goes up Sagan. every year. You guys have heard of a Sagan, right? Yeah. No. I have not heard of a second. It's it's billions and billions. It's a it's a measurement in billions. Oh, billions and billions and billions. Okay. Kyle even nodded his head. <laughs> right. You should put a and, map. And on Kyle, it. it's the silly naval disaster. The silly isles are off of the southwest coast of England. Oh, thank you. I better alert the other rooms. Yeah. Good correction. Uh, okay, so I have a question about I have a question about six. Is it the year that he finally claimed his prize, or the year he that he won the prize. That's right. It took him a while to get the prize money. Oh. But so I don't know what the year. year he won it then. He actually, not the year he won it, but the year he actually claimed, got it. Claimed it, yep. Oh, well, I, I didn't know there was a delay. I read the book Latitude a long time Longitude. ago. Longitude, Longitude. Longitude, yeah, I read that book. It was really good, but I don't know. But remember. what year was he doing that? I didn't read the oh, book. Oh, it was, um, it was in the... <laughs> 1780, 1760s? No, 1750s? What do we say for five? Uh, a Mickey. Bean. Okay. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You're raising. Okay. Hey, Mickey. Okay, so six. Okay, I know that the naval disaster, 707, I know it took a long time for them to finally get somebody to to win so it was probably 1730s or something no no i think it took longer than that that was going to say like i think i think uh, i think the theme of that book longitude was how long how damn long it took for them to figure it out yeah 30 years is a long time wasn't it not in 1720 it wasn't <laughs> well i think they thought it would take a you know five or six years so and shall it we take it twenty or thirty? I thought. No. Uh, Let me think if I oh, can remember. It, it took it took decades, if not centuries, to figure this out, and for the longest time, it was thought to be impossible. So you think it's the eighteen hundreds? I think it is the eighteen hundreds. I think it might be after the Napoleonic <laughs> Wars. <laughs> Did Napoleon know. have some hand in it, trying to get it too? I think they were still working on it. I think it was still a. Kind of a crapshoot in the Napoleonic Wars. Okay, so let's say he invented it in 1850. That's pretty late. 1830. I I'd I'd be more comfortable with the 1700s. That it was invented. Okay. That he, he did it. Yes. Like you said it took centuries. Yes, but not centuries from 1707. Oh, okay. Then that makes sense. Because I thought it was within like a person's lifetime from when they announced the 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 contest. Yeah, I I'd be more comfortable with something like 1760. 
And, and oh, oh, plus or minus five. I'm, I, I'm cool with that. Yeah, but it says, what year did he finally claim his prize? I, right. I think there was some controversy about, about it. Anyway, we should move on to the next group while we think about it. What does yeah. the A with a circle symbol mean? Is this That was the Drake equation I looked at, right? That is not the Drake equation. Oh, no. no? No. The A is an angstrom, I think. Yeah, that's yes. an angstrom. angstrom. That's an angstrom. It's a, a very tiny something. <laughs> it's about the, uh, the radius of an uh, atom. OK, and a 1E? I believe that's the mass of the Earth. No, the mass of, oh, 6.27 grams? 6 times 10 to the 27th grams? Yeah, 6.022 times 10 to the 24. Yeah, that's the mass of the Earth. OK, and the two circles represent? Uh, hydrogen atoms. I thought it was 007. Yeah. But there's because, no star. Because because um, Queen Elizabeth's masked, uh, chief spy, he always signed all his letters zero zero with a line underneath. So why why does that represent? I I don't see what why would I mean I I am willing to go with it, but why is it hydrogen? I think it's because hydrogen being the most abundant element in the universe, they're trying to come up with a consistent unit of measure that any alien species would know. So what that's what all this is for. So what's below that axis one with a one and a cross or something? Uh, that I don't know. And the one M is? I think that's a fundamental unit of mass is what they're trying to get. That the mass of one hydrogen atom is M and therefore six times 10 to the 23 yeah. hydrogen atoms is one gram. This is, this is what was on the golden record, right? Just so I'm not the only I one. I think so, yes. Okay. So it is associated with Drake and the fact that it has to do with. It's associated with the Voyager a golden record. The chance that oh. there will be a. Uh, uh, it says Voyager there, Voyager. right there at the top. Yeah. Oh, does, I'm, not looking that, at, yeah. I'm not looking at the picture. I'm looking at you all. So. It has yeah. nothing to do with Drake as far as I'm aware. Yeah. He came up with an equation to try and rationalize how? how likely life is outside of earth so we'll call it once removed from drake because we're still trying it, this is communications with potential uh outputs from oh, the drake equation brian that looks too freaky weird what Look at brian can you guys see him you mean the missing elbow my garden he's, he's leaning into his tree that it's he's just leaning on, on he's just, he's he's San Francisco bonsai garden. But you're just like leaning into space is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one of the things is not like the other. I think it's B. I believe that's Planck's number. What? Planck's constant. Planck's constant and C is the speed of light. And wow. so why, so they are both constants. Okay. So what's different must be A or D, right? I originally thought that the answer was B, that that was Planck's number and the others were meaningless. But if C is meaningful, then okay. one of the, then I'm C, wrong. C, that is exactly the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So okay. C is the meaning. So the one thing I can think of is A, if it had been 10 to the power plus 23, that would be Avogadro's number, mm -hmm. but it's minus 23. So that, I don't know. I don't know what D is though. I don't know what constant that is. Maybe so it's meaningless. A, huh? Maybe it's meaningless. But then A is also, I mean, A is with a minus 23. Hmm. So you're saying that he probably just changed the, the minus, uh, the plus to a minus on A. Yeah, I'm wondering whether he did that, but so that would make it an outlier, but and then, then the I don't understand what D is. D is what I, I, D is not familiar to me at all. Well, it's not familiar to me. So if the theme is constants with one thing tweaked or changed or opposite or something. So if like number, if A is Avogadro's number, but with a negative instead of a positive, then maybe. Yeah, but the other, two, are, the other two are not inverted in that way. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. So then it's probably A, and you just don't know what D is. Yeah, I don't know what D is. Or A is just a typo. Well, then you can argue it with them. <laughs> or A is the only number that I recognize on that list. <laughs> Which one? A. But you would recognize it, but not with the minus 23? Right, uh, yeah, I think, well, what I remember from chemistry class was 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd. Yeah, that's right. That's our yeah. rule. So the minus is the wrong one. Right. What Maybe that's one of these, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm fine with I'm fine with A. My, my suspicion is that D is something we're just not catching, and that he's flipped the sign on A. Uh huh. I agree. You are probably correct. Alan's looking up at the sky, so I'm thinking <laughs> he doesn't want to say because he doesn't want to, you know, brag. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. By the way, Sarah says hi. Okay. Oh, hello, Sarah. Did when will she know about California? Uh, maybe in a week or week or two, you know, she she'll find out the day before. So wow, I I really doubt it's going to be anywhere around us because it's the rates are so good here, and even yeah. LA is good. So it seems odd they'd send her to California. So D might be a light year. I'm trying to think that would be something that's so big. Hmm. Let's well, we, see. let's we, see whether I can do a quick calculation and see whether it's a light year. So the answer could be three of these things are something and one of them is nonsense. Or it yeah. could be three of these things are the correct thing and one of them is the wrong thing, but it's a lot like the right thing. And he's just tricking you. I'm yeah. Changing a, a sign. I've done, I've done a year, like Sounds like Sesame Street. Yeah. That's How many seconds are in a year? 60 times. Did we get everything else, you guys? Yeah. We, that, yeah. that, uh, that picture has the seconds in a... a in a day and a year has 365 days so we have that huh. oh, you're right times two nine nine eight zero 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 I think I did that wrong Okay. Uh, no, it's all not the light here. It's, it's off by some orders of magnitude. You know, 65 days into seconds into the speed of light. No, it's. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how you do scientific notation using Windows calculator. <laughs> 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 well, we have a 25% chance of getting it right if we just pick one. I say pick A. I'm kind of I'm kind of into A also. Okay. I'm into A also. Do we get everything right? I mean, <laughs> do we get answers for everything is what I'm trying to say. I think we did. We're not going to get a 10 on this one, I don't think. Did we get a 10 on the religion one? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Every no, not everybody. I was. I was. But you did. Distracted during the Greek thing. I'm pretty the confident that D is not the speed of light. No, it, D is not. Right. C is the speed of light. Sorry, that D is. Sorry, D is not a light year. No, it's not a light year. I just did a quick calculation. It's not a light year. It's off by an order of magnitude. Unless it's the diameter of the, I don't know, Milky Way or something like that. It could be so many, such large numbers could be so many large things. But that wouldn't be a constant. B and C are constants. I mean. This is a big button. I'm going to put a bunch of variables on the end. Okay. Let's go with A. Okay, let's go with A. Yeah. Did you get all the others? Did we arrive at something for six? Do you want to take a stab at this? Do you want to come? This is a mathematical question. <laughs> Why would I ever be qualified to answer what? You could read it to her in French. You took calculus. Yeah. 
What are you doing? Shifting around? I'm trying to get my daughter to come help. She's the genius of the family. Are you going to a different room? No. Oh, let's get back to number two. There was also the question of changing the uh, unit of length from the meter uh, to a certain number of wavelengths of an atom. And I think that might have been the controversy because I think the French were kind of proud of the fact that the meter was their unit that they kept carefully in is, Paris. Is I do remember like, this. Mm -hmm something about this. So that might, because I think the time uh, didn't get changed. It may have been later till we had much better accuracy of measurement of frequency. Oh, I thought something looked different. So I, I am suggesting that we change two to the unit of length. The meter? Yeah, the unit, um, changing the unit. Really bang. Just... I'm good with that. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. This might be one of those things where we talked about a lot of the right one. Oh God, Stephanie's revival. Okay, here comes Kyle. So I guess we're done. You guys all set? Yeah, most group are winding up. <laughs> yeah. And we think a qubit is the span, the length of the span of one hand. Yes, because it would be odd to have a span of a hand and a half. I could see it being the span of two. But yeah. a pan and a half would be kind of really hard. How would you do a half? Yeah. So I Even, think probably one hand or two hands. I think one. I mean, usually that's how they do it. Otherwise, if you have two, it'll be awkward to do the measurement. Yeah. Because right. you've got to, you, you can't do two hands unless you have somebody else with you. Right. But you could do one hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's either of those, but anyway. We'll find out very shortly in about 19 seconds. All right. <laughs> good job, guys. All right. <laughs> Kittens, Hamilton. Where's the kitties? I don't see them playing. I want to tap they're on the still screen. In their breakout room. No, they're right there at the top of the screen, but I can't see them. Somebody brought it back. Kitty, 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 kitty. Roof. Roof. Not coming. I don't see them. Where's the kitties? Someone, someone go press the, the can opener. <laughs> they're too young to know about <laughs> that. That's that true. Kid, the kittens class. don't know yet. I see a reflection on the screen. The, we, the kids found our electric can opener in the pantry, like shoved behind like the mixer and all that. And they're like, what does this do? What is this thing? Like, this is and back it attracts cats. To, this is back when we used to roll our windows up manually. <laughs> Did you ever see the uh, the thing that went, it went viral and I just saw it, which was somebody on a daytime talk show and they, they, as a teenager, they asked them to come up to, to oh, it was, it was the Ellen show. Use a telephone. Yes, to use a, tele a dial telephone, right? She goes, you know, at first it's a phone book, look something up in the phone book if she couldn't do that. But then she goes, now dial this number on, on the phone. And she doesn't pick up the headset. She just starts turning the thing. No, no. And then she picks up the headset. No, that one. No, that's not going to work. Oh, the, the, the sad part about that is, how do you expect someone to know something that they've never seen or done yeah. before? Yeah. You got to watch on TV at least. Yeah. And, and yeah. Right. yeah. In sci fi movies, like, you know, I don't know, you know, Will Smith gets in an alien vessel and he could just fly it because he can fly an F 15. Yeah. Because it's that, obvious. That you part just, always cracked me it's up. It's incredibly you know obvious. You and, just, and all aliens, you can people. figure it out. The, That's the cool. window <laughs> crank was the one for me. That they did the same the thing. thing. It was the window same show. Crank, but, and, yeah, and yeah. Jeff Goldblum can hack any alien technology yeah, yeah, yeah. that he's computers seen computers work like, the same within way. five minutes. Yeah. They, had a they, they have thousands of years into research of user interfaces. I'm sure they come up with something more intuitive. Yeah, than, but they have like know, a boombox. And they're expecting what... kids to know how to play a cassette and right. to play the music. And they had never seen it before. And then I, the get that... a, I get into a rental car that's two years newer than my car. And I have no <laughs> idea. Where <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's I've all the there. buttons? You're like, wait, I've got to drive out of this parking wait, garage. Wait, how do you start the car? Yeah, wait, there's no key. Step on the brake and push a button. Key, can't, you don't know where the brake is. <laughs> oh, no, so this is real. I, I brought my new car in for service, uh, and then I got an even newer car as a rental, and I start driving out of the parking lot, and the engine just dies as I hit the road to stop for the traffic. And I go, oh, shit, they gave me a, a car with a <laughs> tail right. I had never driven or even knew there were cars that the engine did that. Yeah. yeah, but when I, I ran so into Las Vegas, we did that. I stopped at a stoplight and it died. And I'm like, oh, geez, now what? My son's car does that. It's oh, Caspian. Did you see what Caspian just said? 
<laughs> Jeff Goldblum called aliens and told yeah, them right. planetary password. Inspector, and they gave him the password to their firewall. Nice. nice. All right, let's do it. Would you say, what were you saying, Brian, about rolling down windows? Oh, no, I, the kids and I were in separate cars and we pulled up at a stoplight next to one another. And I like look to Natalie and I do do the roll down the window motion and she just looks at me like I got a bag on my head. Like, <laughs> no clue. Yeah. I'm like, window yeah. down. Uh, this was a, a minivan picture. my brother-in-law and I rented like more than five years ago. The transmission selector is Ooh, right next so to the stupid. radio. <laughs> Change the station. Oh, oh God, I just threw it in reverse. We're going to crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's crazy what brand was that that was a chrysler holy Ter terrible and, design and underneath terrible. where my hand was was the button for the parking brake uh, and was there where is it was there an ejection button right off to power off for the radio that was no, actually the ejector on the dial under r <laughs> the parachute comes out the sunroof comes up all right kyle good good questions we had some good discussion in there thankfully i, I was with some people who knew the answers so all right, well, question one, I heard a lot of correct answers. It was 2019. I'll also accept yes. 2020, just given yes. you know, yes. the cycle. Thank Very you. Nice to you. The, the, decision, the decision to go that way was done in 2018, but it became oh. effective in 2019. Uh, okay. Shut up, Leonard. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> 18, 19, 20. And then as uh, we learned in H. Arthur Klein's classic, it was the meter that oh, was so controversially oh, uh, being discussed at that time. The first answer, my fault. Prior to that, the meter was established by four rods that were cut at one time that weren't all equal in the first place. <laughs> oh, great. Nice. The cubit is a uh, measurement of length. Yes. It's a historical one going from the end of the middle finger to, I believe, the elbow. <laughs> Yes. Well, this is one cubit. Good call, team. We said a hand. Is that going to be all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All those punk rockers were just measuring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, I think everybody got the Scoville scale is a measure of the spiciness of chili peppers. That's B. All peppers, right? So, Kyle, for number Red two, hot chili pepper, pepper. was the answer a unit of length, or did you want a specific unit of length? I would accept unit of length given the theme. Oh, but, uh, I knew it was length. Wow. Yeah. We were just trying to figure yeah, out the specific I measure length. All right. These humorous units of measurement, according to Wikipedia, as of the, com the last commit before this uh, event began, a Sagan is a real humorous unit. It is, there's some debate about this, whether it's two or four, but it's at least four billion, as in billions and billions. <laughs> billions Which he never billion. said. <laughs> that's correct yeah um let's do b a mickey in honor of mickey mouse is a measurement of length it is the smallest unit a mouse can move a cursor on the screen <laughs> no <way. laughs> wow what a real mouse a computer, a mouse, mouse. A computer mouse due to the, the elementary screen. quantum of cursors oh, yes it's a quantum so of cool. cursors correct i like hilarious. never heard of that that is that's cool. crazy a war hall is a measurement of time. Your 15 minutes of fame. Caspian ah. got that. Caspian got that. Yes. Yeah. Which means that Kobayashi is not yes. the number of hot dogs yes. eaten by Kobayashi. Oh, that's what we thought for Kobayashi sure. Kobayashi is not a measurement of how unwinnable something is. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> how difficult the simulation is to beat. Okay, yep. that Kobayashi, that was a that was a trickery. That was a, a was a distractor. That was meant that was a hook. So real us in. We thought for sure cool. it was the hot dog was the, was real. There was positive. That's wrong. There is such thing as a Kobayashi metric. I looked that up, but it's not on Wikipedia's humorous list. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Get on it, Rob. <laughs> yeah, Rob, Rob said right. it, he was going to add it after this was over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, old John Harrison, the famous clockmaker, finally claimed his prize in 1761. Oh, with the five-year spread, anything from 1756 to 1766 oh. is good. What were the year spreads again? Seventeen. So, claimed his prize or got the the money? Um, claimed his prize is what I took from Wikipedia. So, what was the what was the spread of years? 
1756 to 1766. So close. So close. So close. So right. So close. Because he got the money in the uh, early 1770s. Oh, then, it was, then that would make sense. If the claim of it, if there was the delay, then yeah. And then moving on to the Voyager, the image from the Voyager spacecraft. The A, heard a lot of correct answers here, is an angstrom. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good job. The next one's the tricky one. One E, according to that plaque, is the one Earth mass. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got that. Oh. Yay. You got the Earth? Wow, that's good. Yep. That's Nine, good. Uh, those circles represent hydrogen. Yes. Yeah, all right. Good job, Rob. Very good call. And just in case anyone doesn't know, that's the message that Drake and a number of other people crafted should aliens ever find this, how we could try and communicate something to them. It's brilliantly well designed. Lastly, on the Voyager spacecraft. That's correct, the golden record. And then lastly, one of these things is not like the other. Several ways to a correct answer. Uh, the significant figures is one of them, but oh. A, B, and C are all related to metrology. They are all important measurements of uh, or constants in SI. D is a um, not related to metrology at all. Uh, it is an uninteresting number, though not the smallest uninteresting number. <laughs> it makes what it is, interesting. What is A, Kyle? A is Avogadro's number. Once you get yeah, that that's correct, the typo. But that's yeah. with a plus twenty-three. Yes. Right. I, uh, that's why I put the message in saying that there was an error in A. Oh, we didn't get the message. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, just as you were leaving our group, I said you should probably drop in each group and say that verbally to them. I went, I thought I got everyone. I guess I missed the one. Sorry. Yeah, we, said, we said the first one was whatever you said it was, except that the plus symbol was wrong. And so right. we were argued that that must be the one that's wrong because it's got the symbol wrong. And, and since yeah, Kyle told us that that one was positive. Kyle dropped into our room and said, was flipped and then we were like oh okay yeah now it, was was our, it was our team that found the typo so give them that point yeah for sure we'll I take think the they point. should get no that problem. point so yep. i think we, we really point. would have had it yep all right Kyle. very good sure. could you please put the answers so i could spell them correctly in the in the yes give me one okay. second i'll drop the whole list of them after i reformat it very 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 good good discussions mm -hmm. Are we ready for scores? If anyone wants to see what I look like with really long hair, the video of Kobayashi that I posted in the chat, look at about the one minute mark oh, over no. on the left hand side. Kobayashi takes eggs and milk. I will put takes on eggs, milk, okay. and milk. Kobayashi. Yeah. It's going in the to read after. There you go. Perfectly fine. I've got all sorts of different things to watch after you guys always give me something interesting. Okay, so Millie Vanilli, Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, I think we abstain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have, we, have, we have four. <gasps> okay, so we're the winner, Cyber Ninja says so. Eight. Okay. Throwing off spike proteins left and right. Well, I have five, but it depends. What, what do we do with question six. 10? I think we have six. I think we okay. have seven. Six. And we have seven? <laughs> I hear eight? We have seven. <laughs> they need some help with metrology to measure their score. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, one, one, three, four, five, seven, nine, and maybe 10. I'm not clear on the 10 thing. Oh, yeah, I'm not clear on 10. Is everybody getting Oh, yes. I, I had eight? one of them marked wrong. That's my fault. Any, when you, if you didn't get the message about the error, you can count A as a correct answer. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't do that. Oh, but, 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 how about our point that once you flip that, the only one that was a negative number was B? I mean, so Wait, what not, relationship does that have to metrology? It's not like any of the others. One's a negative, very tiny no, thing, no, and one's no, the that others are huge. No, it also fails. No, that's ignoring the category, Rob. Wrong, oh. Rob. Oh. Deal with it. Wrong. Wrong. wrong, wrong, Mr. Wrongly, wrong, wrong. We have six. Six then. Six. Okay, yep. Six. Okay, so the other two, what went missing first, the chicken or the egg? Seven. That was my team, by the way. Just let me know. Didn't catch that. Your sound is cut out. Eight. 
Ooh. Oh, this one did separate us a little bit. Finally. Um, I have a question before Susan uh, posts the um, scores. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, Leonard uh, mentioned something about actually getting money, hence literally claiming the prize. And you said, oh, yeah. Were you just acknowledging an understanding or saying you would give credit for the answer of 1772? Oh, um, so to my understanding, uh, 1772 would be when it was awarded, not claimed. So Got not it. in the range. Thank you. Uh, I thought our group, what were the three things we got wrong? The chicken and the egg group? I thought we got two wrong. We missed number one, number three, and number five. No, number three, he said a unit of length. Uh, and that's what no, we, we got that right. Oh, OK, then uh, we're at eight. OK. All righty then. Every point matters. It mm. does when you see the score, <laughs> it will. So I, I missed Carl. What, what was the reason for D? On 10? No. Yeah. It is the only, uh, multiple reasons. Uh, it is the only one that has a different number of significant figures, and it is the only one not related to metrology in any way. Oh. And by the way, uh, angstrom is spelled wrong. Ah, thank you. Um, let me Google That's that. That's an O. Oh. The last vowel is an O. Angstrom. Is that a person's name? I don't remember. I wrote it correctly. Oops, that's even worse. <laughs> Got it. Bonus points for proper spelling, right? Well, Susan wanted the right spelling. Yeah, thank you. She, Appreciate uh... it. Because someday these these answers will be important. <laughs> someday when I write a book about this trivia group and all of you. Why do you think but I'm recording this? It is Here's a name. Centuries from now, name when archaeologists name of and trying and to figure out what went wrong. Yeah, what, what happened we'll to point to tonight. How do people get through the trip? How do people get through the pandemic? They will be able to look at this and understand. Okay. Oops. Oh, oh. It's the only way to keep your, your mind active. Only way. <clears throat> Here we go. Here's the scores. All right. So okay. it's pretty damn, wait, wait. It's pretty damn close. The kitties. The kitties are playing. Hello, Hello kitties. kitties. See? 23, 25, 28, 28, and 27. So very, very tight. Very tight. It's getting down to Janine. Janine, are you here? He's here. I am here. here. OK, so we can hear Janine. I think I'm stable. I think my internet's stable enough, but you might have to bear with me. So don't do uh, um, It seems to shut down for a few seconds off and on. <laughs> So don't turn on your audio, your video again while well, you're on. Okay, you're right. She's on. You're okay then. Let's go. You can do it. I just know you can. There. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna turn off the video. Okay. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. What's your category? Okay, my category. So, um, uh -oh. we do a lot of. Uh, movies and music and TV, which I never had, but um, growing up, I did have entertainment and it was called books. And so uh, <laughs> this is uh, from literature, children's and young adult literature that I would have read growing up in the 50s and the 60s. Oh, cool. So if it was newer than that, I wouldn't have been reading it at that age. So this is uh, from children's literature. Okay, muting. Yay. Two, three, two, one, mute. And my mouse needs to also work. Okay, so what I have are, let's see if I can find, um, what I have are quotes taken from from the books uh but they're not like famous quotes they really are uh quotes that tell you what this what the story what the book is so uh give the name of the book that these uh came from so the first one actually if it pays i'm gonna put case more than one question at a time. 
So the first, the first quote is, and so they were taken from the palace and sent far away to the castle in the air and they have not been seen since. And that is why today in all this land, there is neither rhyme nor reason. So give the book that that came from. And if my paste works, I'm gonna have several questions. Nope, didn't work. So let's see if, oh, maybe that did. Okay, yes, so question one. Okay, quote two, the doctor was didn't paste. delighted. Excuse me? It didn't paste. I think it, oh, you maybe one because. Person? No, it's to everyone. I didn't hit return. enter. Yeah, you gotta hit enter. You gotta hit enter. Okay, okay we got it. Uh, the second quote, the doctor was delighted and said that it was very unusual for an American family to have a mouse. Quote number three, which I cut off. How is it that a man so exact and fastidious could have made this error of a day? How came he to think that he had arrived in London on Saturday, the 21st day of December, when it was really Friday the 20th, the 79th day only from his departure? And I did not catch, I deleted a little section of question three. So let me put the whole thing in. And I'm gonna add four at the same time since I have to switch back and forth here. So three is going in again and along with four. Okay, fourth quote, I just came across it in the forest. It was hanging over a bush and I thought at first somebody lived there. So I rang it and nothing happened. And then I rang it again very loudly and it came off in my hand and nobody seemed to want it. So I took it home and, okay, number five. Number five is, it doesn't happen all at once. He said, you become, it takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily or have sharp edges or who have to be carefully kept generally by the time you are. Janine, we lost your audio. Janine, no audio. Okay. Oh, you're back, Janine. Are you there? I am here. Okay. What did we not get? Uh, you were reading five, but it's okay. We can read it. You don't have to read it. You can read it. I, okay. Yeah, because some of these quotes are longer than than I would like, and so, okay. Um, I, just I just want to ask, is there a typo there in the middle of that one? It says your hair has been loved off. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. Okay. So, number six, um, while you were riding about the country in expensive motor cars and galloping proudly on blood horses and breakfasting on the fat of the land, those two. And you're gone again. It's okay. Okay. Those two poor devoted animals had been camping out in the open in every sort of weather, living every rough 
very rough by day and living scheming and planning and contriving how to get your property back for you you do you don't deserve to have such true and loyal friends not ringing a bell and again stoats stoats is correct S-T-O-A-T-S. Stoats, Stoats is correct. Wow. Okay. Seven. You have seen our diamond, diamond mines. That is, you have seen one of them. There are many other unexplored plots of ground around the base of the mountain where the earth doesn't ever move. Do you understand now why you have to remain our permanent guest? Do we lose it for eight? <laughs> As he should afterwards marry to wed one every day and have her strangled the next morning. Oh, that's impossible. We missed the beginning of eight, I think, in the chat. Let's see. I think she, it was, looks like it started right with the. Uh... It started, yes. It's, it, um, the, There's ellipses after the quotation mark, so it's intentional. Exactly. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So we're on nine. and so on. What a curious plan. That's the reason they are called lessons, the Griffin remarked, because they lessen from day to day. And 10. I made up my mind to two things. If I was among lunatics, I would presently boss that asylum. And if on the other hand, it was really the sixth century, I would boss the whole country inside of three months. So those are the 10 books that uh, you should find um, the title to those books. And the, the text gives away really the story uh, of that book. Okay. I think I'm frozen. Okay. I'm gonna have to think about these. All right, good job. Let's go. Nexty, next, next. Uh, break our rooms. Open our rooms. Go for it, guys. I will see. Oh, I've got to sign people. Jane and Jane. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I had to switch computers. No, several people have. Okay. So, Jane, you are in Cyber Ninjas. Jane is in Cyber Ninjas? Oh, James. Oh, James is in Cyber Ninjas. Cyber. I am in okay. Cyber Ninjas. Okay. So Kyle, you're in. Which came first? Chicken or the egg? Oh. Okay, what went missing first? Okay, Jane is in. You're in the first one, Millie Vanilli. Okay, I got it. Oops, wait, I just put the wrong one in there. Okay, there's Millie Vanilli. 
okay, so I'm in, didn't catch that, your sound what is that. Let's see if everybody over here. Here comes Newman again. And Newman goes to. Where are you, Newman? You're supposed to go into. Oh, you're in the second group, uh, throwing off spike proteins. Okay. And I am now in, I didn't catch your sound. Why are you switching them around? I don't understand. I have to let it back in and put them back in a group. All right, what do you know, Susan? Do you know um, number one? And Mark, too. So the, the one I think I knew for sure. Don't say around the world in 80 days, because we know that. Okay. We know number three, we know number five. The one with the bell, it came across in the forest. I was hanging over a bush, and I thought it lived there. That's one the guy, the book with the... With the you know that one? I don't, I don't no. know. No, are you talking... No, that's Animal Farm. No, 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 that one where they're in a jungle. The Jungle Book? Yeah. But you don't well, what makes you think it's the Jungle Book? Did you ever freaking read it? No. <laughs> Which one does he think is the Jungle Book? Because Number I four. Because there's a forest. A, not a jungle. A jungle and a forest aren't the same. What's the one with the kids? There's entertainment value in what's, listening to Faith interrogate Romero. What's the one Romero with this monster? <laughs> this monster. What makes you think you know that? Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. recording this, so just remember. It's okay. It's okay. We've been married almost nine years. What's We're What's the one with the monsters in the... Monsters. With... Okay, number nine is got the mock turtle, and that and is... And I'm thinking Alice in Wonderland. Isn't that... Oh, that's Alice through the looking glass, I think. Mark says it's Alice okay. through the looking glass. And how many hours a day did you do lessons? In a hurry to change the subject. 10 hours the first day, said the mock turtle. Nine the next, and so on. What a curious plant. It's one or the other, I don't know. That's a reason they're called lessons. The Greif, Greifen remark. Griffin. 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 Oh, remark because they list, well, lesson from day to well, day. Because Alice in Wonderland had so you the, think that's the walrus and the, the um, walrus and the oysters. So the mock turtle. And that's where the mock turtle came from was with the walrus and the oysters where they were having a dinner party or something like out on the beach, a picnic, and they were going to eat the oysters. Okay, so that that's nine. Um, I have heard number eight before, but ha. Oh, he would marry them and then strangle them the next day. I've never heard that. I never had offspring, them. obviously. So while you were riding out in the country in expensive motor cars and galloping proudly on blooded horses and breakfasting on the fat of the land, those two poor devoted animals have been camping out in the open. Could, you know what, maybe think of some song, um, books from the 50s and 60s that would be considered children's lit. Hello, what, what's the one about the monsters where the wild things are or something? Yeah, well, that's not that wouldn't have had any of these kind of quotes. That's like a well, why not the one with the forest? Well, it's because it's a Cause it's, that's not how that no, because there was nothing about a bell and taking it. it okay. That book is about a little boy who gets pissed off at his parents and sits on the edge of his bed yeah. and him, his bedroom becomes a jungle. Yeah. And it's really smoke free. So um, I was thinking of uh, Mark Twain's book, uh, Yankee, a Confederate Yankee. In, in King Arthur's in Court. King Arthur's court. I mean, that's old enough to be, um, to be read. No, Did I you didn't know it? which one to be for. I was just thinking of names of books that would have been. <laughs> I've never read it. Popular. Thinking of random books to insert as. A... Well, I I don't know any of these. Right, popular books of that era. Yeah, that's what you should be thinking about. That's what I'm thinking of. So what would what would? Okay, so the thing about a mouse. Wait, did I you guys know that? Stuart Little. That's Stuart Little. Oh, good. We have yeah. one. <laughs> well, we think it's still. I thought it was Doctor Doolittle. The doctor was delighted and said it was very unusual for an American family to have a mouse. Yeah, that's still little. No, it can't be Doctor Doolittle. Doctor Doolittle talked to animals. How about Gulliver's Travels for one of these? <laughs> We're doomed. We'll never Could that make be it. Seven? The curse is back. That was the cartoon from last week. We're doomed. We'll never <laughs> make it. 
You have seen our diamond mine. Yeah, the one nobody knew. Ever seen nobody knew it. Around. That's the only one nobody got. Ground around the base of the mountain where the earth doesn't ever move. Well, and so they were taken from the palace and sent far away to the castle in the air. And they've not been seen since. That is why today in this land there is neither rhyme nor reason. I've heard this one before. Could that be Rapunzel? <sighs> no. no. Well, Rapunzel, wasn't Rapunzel pregnant? No. And no. had twins? No. Or no, oh, no, wait, wait a second. That was Sleeping Beauty that got pregnant with twins. I don't remember that either. Because you didn't reel the real one. She was raped. Oh, that's and she, gave birth, she gave birth to the twins and they sucked out the poison thorn or something. In and that's the real story. Yeah. It's Hans Christian Andersen can take his books and go for my little. <laughs> so none of these are Chronicles of Narnia, which would have been around the 50s and 60s. Yeah. You don't um, but these aren't necessarily books of that era, such as Around the World in 80 Days. But they would have been written, but at least there would have been available. Right. They, they could be written no later than that era, for sure. Right. But so they could be much older. They like could be classic. I think that's, number six is The Great Gatsby. I really like in children's literature. In school. Well, she, she clarified that we're talking young adult stuff she would have read as a teenager. I, I think it's the Great Gatsby. That, I read that book in high school. I did too. You know what? This could be. It could be the Great Gatsby. You're right. That's what's it's, leaving to me is that yeah, expensive cars. Expensive cars, or he had the house and um, and contrived. Is, how to is any of this John Steinbeck? Like the little po my red pony, the little. None pony. of this sounds depressing enough to be John Steinbeck. No, I don't pony. like my Steinbeck at all. Well, maybe except the, the little pony or the red Not pony. For, Number John's no no number eight is some like fable or story. Uh, and I've heard it before, but I can't. It could be an Edgar Allan Poe short story. I don't know. I made up in my mind the two things. If I were among lunatics, I would presently boss the asylum. And if on the other hand it was really the sixth century. I mean, a boss in the whole country instead of three months. How about one of the Wizard of Oz book? That would have been written by then. How about Journey to the Center of the Earth or the Time Machine or one of those H.G. Oh. Wells things? I yeah, mean, Journey to the Center of the Earth one? or The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. Pick one. What? What? She said that Frank, most Frankenstein could be one. No. Frankenstein. No. I absolutely adore that. No, none of these are Frankenstein. None of these are Frankenstein. Okay, let me let me reread these and see if it makes some sense here. Well, what do we need answers for? What Everything? We I have two, three, five, six, and nine. So we need five more answers. We need one. We need one, four, seven, eight, and ten. One it's is one, Rapunzel. four, seven. Do we want one go? for Rapunzel? Eight and ten. Okay, we'll do Rapunzel. Unless you get something better. I don't. I don't know. I don't really think. I, I'm How about Rip wrong. Van Winkle for four? Okay. He, you know, he went there and found the bell and rang it and I don't and I've never read Rip Van Winkle. I only have um, the Disney version version. Seven Davy Davy Crockett. That is you have seen one of them. There are many other unexplored pots of ground around the base of the mountain where the earth doesn't ever move. Do you understand now why you will have to remain our permanent guest? Maybe uh, that's Ho Rings. Hotel of California. <laughs> Maybe Lord of the Rings. No. Check out There's no problems. freaking diamond mines in those yeah, books. Yeah, the doors. <laughs> Come back, she's getting. <laughs> what if it's right? You have to see it now. What does it say? It says, speak friend and enter. Well, what is that in Elvish? And the door freaking opens. This is what would happen. This is what would happen. And you don't even get that reference. No, I did think Lord of the Rings. I thought Lord of the Rings also. Oh. Yeah. 
You know, no, but, but I just something bad wrong. Let's just put that there, okay? Um, but I do remember. But it just—it was the first thing I thought of. Diamond Mine. What about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Ooh, a, maybe the original. A, but presumably there was a book, right? Yeah. Well, there was a short story. That makes sense because they would want her to leave and tell where the mines are. Maybe that'd be the true story of Snow White. Sure. The Seven Dwarfs good. wouldn't let her leave. Okay. Which number is that? Seven. 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 What else are we eight. missing? Let's make up something for eight. Oh. <laughs> it's not Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Why not? My cat is coming out. What's some going on, some character cat? that didn't like women, didn't want to be well, there. would be someone who, a king who had all kinds of powers, maybe. Like Here the Empress of Poe's or something. Who? Dostoevsky. Je who? The Russian the guy, the Russian author. Dosto Dostoevsky? Yeah. If you can't pronounce it. Are you a Leo Tolstoy? Oh. How about um, one of the Arabian Night stories? It might be. But I wouldn't know which oh, one. What was the. Hold on. Maybe my little Christ. hungry caterpillar. No, it's not my very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> you never even story by Millie Vanilli. No, I Millie think it might, I think it might. I think it might be that. Or hold on, could that be Rumble Stiltskin? Like, which one? Number eight. Oh. Which? No. They didn't think about killing women. Well, he's supposed to. It has to marry a woman. He doesn't trust her, and she has to be killed the next day. And there's lots and lots of women. So with that, okay, what else like we Cinderella eight or something? Ten. No, Cinderella, they chopped no. it. No, Cinderella's not eight, eight and ten? ten? It's eight and ten. Could you be quiet? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I made up my mind to teach if I was all my Could 10 be Robin I think Hood? I think 10 is Robin Hood? King Arthur. King, King, uh, uh, Connecticut Yankee. Like Yankee. Yankee in King Arthur's court. Okay. Not Robin Hood? No. I don't think Robin Hood is a time travel thing. I don't think travel. Robin Hood knew about the sixth century. No. Like that's before Good point. that. Well, Robin okay, Hood so would eight? From be later You're than right. that. Susan. Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court. Yeah. yeah. I want no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Number ten is about time travel. Think Connecticut about that. that's why and King Arthur's Court is about. Time. It's about yeah. time travel, right? Yeah. So that's it. Uh huh. Well, I, I think be. it's a good guess, yeah. but I don't know. I'm I read the book. I don't remember. There is some. There is some story where she, a woman had to do something to prevent her husband from killing her, and I'm trying. Oh, well, that was that was that was the, the princess in the pea or something, right? No, no, no that was she had to prove she was a real princess if she could feel the pea. Yeah, you're mountain. talking about the one where it was the Arabian Night story <laughs> where Sherazad or whatever she had to tell him the story. Oh yeah, yeah one thousand and one Arabian Nights. Night. One thousand and one Arabian Nights. Yeah. But I don't, is that the name of the story? No, that's I, it because she had to continue. She would tell a story, but she told a story so well that he wouldn't kill her. Live it, I have to finish leave it tomorrow. Cliffhanger. Yeah, so she lives he for never finishes. Days. Yeah. Oh, so I guess that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Susan. I don't know, think I knew that, that was the name of the title, but I, that makes sense. Yeah, the it is. Raven. It's one thousand and one, and that was the book. Mm -hmm. Is that is that within the book? She would tell the stories, wasn't she? Yes, and yeah. she would and she would leave it on a cliffhanger so that he, he would have to let her live through the next day so she could tell the rest of the story. Right, and so the next, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that's why there were so many just different stories. So one, the book. one. Are we still come confident the number one is Rapunzel? Well, let me see. I don't have anything else. I have zero confidence. It's just better yeah. than a blank space. And right they were now. taken from the palace and sent far away to the castle in the air. Hansel and Gretel, and they have not. No, Hansel and that Gretel well. weren't. Crazy. I think this has something to do with the the rhyme nor reason. It's a it's a it's a play. It's a pun uh, on the words rhyme, and, and that is why there's no rhyme nor reason. It's it's like a like a Mark Twain kind of thing. You know, he would as just a joke, like a joke. 
Mm -hmm. it's like, you get to the very end and you go, oh, that's a bad pun. Could that like, be Jack and the Beanstalk? No. Because wasn't there, because there was the capsule in the air, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, they have not been seen since. That's why it's that all the land. Uh, book, no, it can, no, what uh, atheist book? Um, what they call it? one of the Catholic Church, but it was a, an allegory. What are you cats doing in here? Yeah. Was it a children's novel? Yeah. Could you get you get a little bit more yeah, input? The golden compass. What's it called? The gold. It is not the freaking gold. The golden compass did not exist until the early late. I late. love the golden compass. That was terrific. <laughs> oh my! I love those God. books. They were so good. I need you to freaking you know, Ariadne. Where are you going? I'm going to take your freaking demon away from you. And we're going to sever it and use it. You better get along. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. I thought Susan was talking to us for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a bad, I have a bad kitty. And she's, she's making Ours is move. in quarantine. So. No, I have a kitty that if she sees something on the ground that like a, blank, like a blanket or a towel or something, she'll pee on it. But only at nighttime. Only at night. And that's where ours has to be quarantined with her litter box because she will go downstairs in the middle of the night and pee on the floor in specific corners. And it's yeah. So we have to keep everything off the floor at, after a certain hour. Put puppy pads down until she got too close to one of the air vents and then decided to move over to the carpet in front of the door and I had to throw it out. And I was just like, you, you're, you don't so get what? to go downstairs anymore. Yeah. My friend across the street has a cat that, that's quarantined too. You just lay down right there so I can keep an eye on you. To what? Number one. Okay. So I, I think we better come up I with think it's, no, it's. I think it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Put whatever you want because I don't know. I think it's Jack and the Beanstalk. I think it's something that has some kind of at the very end. And that, like, there's a story it of somebody is. named Ryan. We have nothing at four, right? And there's somebody named Reason. Number four, we could did Rip Van Winkle. But number one, yeah. I oh, think okay. it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Yep. Because I, you do. the yeah. castle in the air, they climb up the beanstalk, there's a castle up there, something happens, they're, they're trying to rescue something, like get something out of the castle, the harp. and they don't get it. Yeah, the harp or whatever harp. it is. The singing harp, he rescues the singing harp. Uh -huh. And then something happens, mm -hmm. and something gets trapped up there. Well, okay. I'll be happy if we get five. Okay. What's so, the score of this room? Uh, 29. 28. Or 28. You're We're 28. tied for first. Oh, you are tied for first. So Until, until now. <laughs> yes. Well, you don't know what went missing first, the chicken or the egg is who you're tied with, and they might not have, they might not have done well. Mm -hmm. um, it's Caspian, Alan, Kyle, Mono, Robin, and Brian. Yeah, they probably know what's going And then the other team, James, Jeff, Julie, Karen, Leonard, Kelly, so and Isabella. If, Jan is if Janine oh. figured out how to change rooms, you're going to have to Stick her back in this one. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good, good try, everybody. I hope, hope we got five. All right. For joining, I have a blaster made up of blasters. Oh, nice! Whoa. You really have to kind of look at this because it's got like there's uh there's the rifle from Aliens, so it's I made. Have to, it's I all have different sci-fi blasters. So larger. There we go. I got yeah. it. See that? And, that cool. uh, let's and then see. you have the awesome weapon from um, Fifth Element right there. Uh, I, don't, I don't recognize a lot. I'm looking for phaser. Yeah. Oh, phaser. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Blade Runner, uh, the pistol from Blade Runner is in there. Where is Starfleet's staff, phaser? Yeah, the Where's staff the phaser? from Stargate. Ooh. You have the the gun from V. Oh my God! Yes, they held it. Yeah, that's a great shirt. Where is the phaser though? It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be here somewhere. Right? Oh, maybe uh, upper Trek upper uh, left, the far left, upside down, maybe. Yeah, yeah, because of course they, you know, some of them are upside down because they're making yeah, yeah. the overall picture look Very like. nice. Which which blaster? That's awesome. You Do you have the? Is the blast? Is the blaster from the original Battlestar Galactica on there? Oh, no. I have to look. Ooh, ooh, how about the uh let's see firefly because they were very uh, distinct uh, is there anything from firefly on here oh yeah there's there you go so, yeah there's the phaser it's upside down yeah 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 oh, so that's why i saw yep. that one yep and then that's robocop's uh pistol above oh my it. god i would have never remembered <laughs> that. oh and the uh, i think what was that called the noisy cricket from uh men in black 
Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember when he oh, handed little, Will the Smith the really the tiny gun one. that yeah, he's yeah, called yeah. the noisy cricket? Noisy cricket, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very nice. All kinds of good yeah. stuff. Oh, in Babylon 5. Is right everybody there. back? There we go. Yeah. All right. That was fun. We'll that was there. really good, Janine, but I think it was really hard. With, was, this was oh, yeah. really hard? Yeah. I, <laughs> we had some really I, good discussions, but it was it was really hard. You know, well, when I tested it out, everybody that I gave it to got. Really? But not uh, what? None. Got none. Got none. Got a cold? Was, was that your high school reunion? <laughs> uh, <right. Thanks> <laughs> uh, everybody got that mad? Got angry? Got pissed off? Got off. livid. <laughs> got even. What? Got no. The game. last thing we heard you say was everyone got. <laughs> <laughs> then your audio cut out. So, then we were so we were filling in the blank. Everybody got. <laughs> Everyone, oh, okay, so I am still cutting it's out. About an right. All the time. All that the was time. funny. You said, yeah. when I tried it out on people, everyone got. Yeah. <laughs> everyone <laughs> got a headache. So, oh, 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 everyone oh, got mad at the high school reunion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So I'm the blank. All right. Okay. I, so I, I ran out of time. We're back, right? I, I have no images. Janine, yeah. your, your audio is going in and out, so it'd be best to paste the answers in as you're saying them in case we can't hear you. But, she can, but if her internet's going out, it's, it's not going to put in the, the uh, text either. Takes uh, less uh, to uh, post it than to voice. Yeah, that might be true. I don't know. Like, we can't hear you now if you're talking to me. Yeah, I think posting it in the chat will be more reliable. Okay, here yeah. she comes. Oh, the I have to because it's not Ooh, yeah. very good. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And why did and you I say, didn't it, say it? it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, said, I, I said it's a pun thing. Not it's enough to know the... it. You also have to say it. I thunk that one out. Yep. Yeah. 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 Throw out every oh, other. Phantom toll booth. Dang it. If you're talking, we can't hear you, Janine. Okay. okay. Well, she's posting. Two little, yes. Yay. Ah, yes. Got a good feeling. We got that one. A point. Got a good feeling. Okay. Helpable point. Um, you may want to uh, state it or someone read it for the benefit of the recording. Oh yeah, they can. So yeah, that's a good reader. point. Who's a good Who's a good reader? Susan, you pronounce things so perfectly. You. Read it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, there's no Washington in it. Okay, number two is Stuart Little by E.B. White, 1965. <laughs> the doctor was delighted and said it was uh, Number three for was from Around the World in 80 Days. Yes. Yeah. Around by the Jules World in 80 Days for number three. Everybody got that right. Oh, good. Okay. And we can hear you. Yeah. Yes, for now. For now. For now. Sometimes she'll be able to hear me. Sometimes she won't. <laughs> But I don't control that. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for tolerating this. We'll live. It's a real pain. Maybe you should hum so we know that you're still there. Uh, <laughs> yes. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. number four that was, was poo. World of Pooh oh. or anything oh, Winnie man. the Pooh, oh. I think. Oh. I, oh, you know man. some of these on that some of mm -hmm. these stories i literally i could just recite we read eeyore loses his tale so often i could could repeat it by heart i i loved winnie the pooh and i didn't recognize mm. it well, you turned us into a room <laughs> full of eeyores <laughs> yeah the, i love right. the way Owl pulled the pulled the bell and Owl pulled, pulled it bell. rang it louder and uh, I remember the honey one when he gets stuck in there and he oh, just yeah. wanted to eat and eat and he got so stuck he couldn't get out. He had to lose I Remember the, the joke, what's brown and smells in the hundred acre wood? Winnie's poo. Uh, <laughs> and now that's on the oh, record. Oh, uh, thanks for sharing that. Thanks. Our answer, our answer is the same same way because I pulled it out of 
<laughs> I don't think I ever read the Velveteen okay. Rabbit. That's number five. Number five is the Velveteen Rabbit, Yay. which Yay. I didn't really like that much, but the Velveteen it's a con- Rabbit. What's going on, Hamilton? Mark. Cat's <laughs> losing it over here. I got it. Hamilton mm. in the room where it happened. So Mark, what is, where's Hamilton? What, Hamilton, where's Mark? What Bad Vel- behavior while his friends Mole and Mr. Badger are um and in the, 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 the Willows, yes. And in the Willows. Didn't they didn't everybody read these? No. Nope. I, in the willows. Really? I read and one of the I've been on Mr. Toad's World Ride many times at Disneyland. I apologize to my group because this was the first book that came into my group. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll wait. Go ahead. I think I actually read Wind in the Willows in a college uh, in a college <laughs> literature course, not as a kid. Mark, it was it, Wind it in the Willows. Is, or it is older. Yeah. yeah. The only one I ever okay, read was uh, was the Connecticut Yankee because it has time travel. Yeah, everybody said they wanted we to get that yeah. one. Yeah. Number eight because it wasn't young adults enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number seven is Twenty One Balloons. Okay. Seven. I've never and heard of it. He lands oh. on Krakatoa. I didn't even read they, the first Twenty Balloons. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great story. I just reread it recently. Never heard I of it. Really like it. Well, there goes our ten. It's short. Yeah. Fuck the ten. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> I have never okay. even heard of that. Number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go read that. <laughs> never heard of it. I recommend Twenty One Balloons. I think it's my favorite. It's short, sweet. Okay, number eight. Is Arabian Nights? Yes. yes. Yeah, we got, we got that. Woo, woo. Okay. And then nine is, let's see oh. if I can get it here. Nine okay. is Alice in Wonderland. Yes. Yay. Which anytime you hear curious, curiouser, it's always Alice in Wonderland. Everything was rather curious. And number 10 was hey. a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur. I got that right. one because yeah, time travel. You hate time yep. travel. I, I, that I still, one. I read the book. I love Mark Twain. And that's why she hates time travel. Yeah. <laughs> you know what on number nine we put through the looking glass we did too <laughs> i couldn't remember i i did read we? those books That's like Mark back Fox. to back i i, I thought finished. we resolved on uh, wonderland I I that's what i had picked first Alice, so if, if that's what you whatever wrote you wrote down, down is fine. What I wrote like down, Ken Robin, I I couldn't think which one it would have been from. My, uh, to me, they're like one book, and I I can't differentiate between the two of them because I read them yeah. like like yeah. I still I, I I finished Alice in Wonderland and I picked up Through the Looking Glass the next minute and tur- started turning pages. We we had trouble yeah. deciding which one. We just went with the first one to be safe. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I read Alice in sixth grade. I bet I've read it 10 times since then. I've, I've read a French translation. I used to have Martin Gardner's Annotated Alice that I Ooh. lent to somebody who never yeah. got to. Uh, that cool. is my jam. Is, is I, so yeah, you probably I got that one right. <laughs> yes, Bob helped. Wow. Good one. Okay. So I'm curious it's about a, what these yeah, scores it's are. It's a look really like. Okay, that was, take that it was from our there. First really because... hard, hard, hard one, I think. Well, I'm glad for my team because I would have had a one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe the Alice one. I knew it was one of the books, but I wasn't sure which one. All right. So Millie Vanilli Hungry Caterpillar. Nine. Nine. Wow. Yes. Thanks to Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob knew his Alice in Wonderland. Okay. There's, so... there's always one, there's always that one category. <laughs> It's like, oh, well, that's why we play team oh, trivia. Oh, were you the one? <laughs> the flock master. Those of us what? who hang with chickens read books. <laughs> <laughs> I read books, uh, but I do love chickens. That sounds like a team name. <laughs> <laughs> Those who hang with chickens read books. All right. All right. Throwing off spike proteins left and right. 
Eight. Okay. Um, we're the winners. Cyber Ninja says so. Five. Five. That's not good, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Thanks, Ms. Obvious. Here's where the next one goes. I didn't catch it. Your sound cut out. Six. Oh, we thought we'd get five. That's good. Guys, That's you good. needed me on the team. Yeah. Really? Yes, we did. That's what happened. And what went missing first, the chicken or the egg? Seven. <gasps> oh, boy. Somebody it. takes the lead. Oh, my goodness. Son of a bitch. She, uh, <laughs> Janine, Janine made a... Uh, um, she she made it so hard that that uh, the other team got one ahead. So yep. we're 32, 33. That my team lost. Yep. By one point, but we got bonus. So my team would have done better if I hadn't talked them out of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and also if I'd known any of the books. That's <laughs> being Snow White one answers, we would have done better. Yeah. If we, we had, had better, if I had a normal child, we would have done better. Wait, wait, what? Did you just play your mother? <laughs> no, I just, I didn't read these, so. I read some of these, but I didn't recognize them. Caspian, you've read these. I mean, Susan, Susan, I, I could have gone one. with Nancy Drew and Trixie Belden. I love but, Trixie Belden. But Caspian, see, Janine wasn't watching Teenage Mutant Ninja two. Turtles, so you have excuse. But I um, wasn't watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles either. I was busy reading Dune. Oh. Yeah, he was into Dune. Researching as a child, the Can civil I, wars of England. When did uh, can I tell my Wind in the Willows story? I I hadn't read it. About eighty two, I was involved with a children's community theater, and it was an all the one production was an all children cast. Sometimes I would play adult roles in productions, but this one was an all children cast. But I costumed it, and I I made the animal heads and tails and things for it. And so I read the book then at age oh, 25 or six or something like that. And that's how I, that's how I became wow, Much more recently than most of us, probably. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Hey. Hey, um, I actually think that's really interesting because when I was in grade school, I was in a Wind in the Willows play as a bird. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. In Olympia, Washington, and our costumes were really good. <laughs> I wonder if there was you a lot that of, right? that was a common play. Wind in the Willows. I don't, I don't, I never was in anything like that. Wind in the Willows is the song of the river. <laughs> I love knowing more about you guys. The you guys have interesting really, lives the with The book really is a, a children's story, but. A lot of these aren't, especially that but, Arabian Nights one. My God. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We had a really active children's theater in Olympia, Washington. Like, yeah. like Olympia is kind of well, Evergreen State College is there. So it's kind of hippie central um, in a lot of ways. And <laughs> that means that there's a lot of arts there, though. Well, and yeah. and yeah, like I played in the pit crew for musical productions that they did for multiple years. It's and also it the fun. capital of the state. And a lot of the government workers who live there have like kids that want to send us special programs. <laughs> so we have a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of public programs. Yeah. Were you showing Deborah? This is a really, really old, let me see what the date is. The 1920s version of Arabian Nights, you right. Copyright 1924. Oh, gee, look at that. Did you gouge his eyes out, Deborah? No, <laughs> it's just really old. <laughs> She's like, I don't like this story. <laughs> All right, Leonard, you're up. And Leonard, just keep in mind. Yeah, sorry, the team. The scores are really tight. Except that we're in last place and we're going to do terribly. Sorry, team. How do you know I won't do well? Is it not like <laughs> you know, I might, this might be this might be the thing that I know the best? Okay. And Mark's so, left the room, so it, it it's just me. According to according to the Wikipedia article entitled "List of Video Games Considered the Best." Oh God! Oh, no. 
but it's not it's, it's not as obscure as that. I don't expect anyone to get ten. Good. Who? Oh, wait, wait. Considered the best by what's the by who? The the criteria are uh, are in the are in the Wikipedia article. It, it's not. Um, it's the the question is not the games. The question is the producers. What company uh, produced the games? Uh, and you've all heard of almost all of these. These of all time. So well, uh, no. Are... So this is starting at the beginning. So the first clue is the first game came out in 1971. And this list goes through 1984. Ah, oh, okay. So I want you to give me the 10 of the 13 earliest publishers of top video games. We had this in a category once, you guys. You remember this? <laughs> no. We did. I gave you hints and you guys came up with the companies. So, not a video, not a video game. Yeah, we did. Or did? we came okay. up with the games. I named the I named the companies and they came up with the games. Okay. So I so, must have so been one of the uh, sort of before. Must have been one of the uh, uh, one quarter of the games that I missed. So if if I name the game, it's not the correct answer. You want the company? The company. Correct. Okay. I want the company. Okay, we can do this, y'all. It's just We're 10 companies done. out of 13. Mm. And anybody to a room? Okay, I'm going to. We're the winner, Cyber Ninjas tells me to. Jeff and Julie. Okay, Jeff, we're counting on you, brother. Uh, Atari. Wait, I got are these all, Yeah, are these all from before 1984? Because guess what? That's the year before I was born. <laughs> okay, it's Atari. I still yeah. trust you over anybody else here. Okay. Commodore. The game between these two years, right? Yeah. Um, Zork. All of Zork. Yeah, but who made it? Yeah, we don't want the game. We Lucas the Arts, games. probably. Wow. Oh. Okay, James, I got Commodore and Atari. Lucas Arts for like, uh, you know, Monkey Island and, um, and a bunch of the text adventure like. Click on thing, combine mm -hmm. items, go go to place. Um, Who did asteroids and, and space invaders and all that? Oh my God. Is that Atari? Yeah. Yeah, those are all Atari. Um, <laughs> they were the big ones. How about things like Frogger and stuff? God, like the problem is it's like before 1984, like some of these companies, I don't know whether or not they existed at that time. This is, this is so old. I'll throw it out like, and we'll, I mean. Like I'm wondering like it. Konami, is Konami there? Of course they were, yes, uh, Pac-Man. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Konami. That's four. Um, what, what was your third one, Karen? I have Atari, Commodore, LucasArts, and Konami. Okay, LucasArts. Move on Sierra, were they that old? Yeah, Sierra was definitely making games at the time. Okay. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Space Quest, King's Quest, Quest of Glory. Um, I mean, if the last is in 1984. Two years before I was Sega? born. Sega? Sega? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, Sega, Sega was during that time. Was Nintendo a power during that time? Let's put Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off. Uh, those are the ones I would have gone towards, but then I was like, 1984, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back because I was yeah, Sony American wasn't making games it. yet. Okay, Neither was I mean that's Sega. Oh, yeah. Um were you even a glint in your father's eye, Kelly? <laughs> my parents knew each other. <laughs> so you weren't a glint in his eye. I was not. Were you reborn? Like, yeah. 92. The other thing is like, he says, like when, he, when he says like, you know, who, who made these games, it's funny because like these days there's a division where it's, there's the developer and the publisher and yeah. they're different. And back then most games were self-published. So by the developers. So, so it does make sense. I'm trying to think of what else was. Well, that's where I saw. 
No, they they didn't exist yet. I don't think. I don't think the first Final Fantasy had even been made yet. Awesome. See, I I really did do a category a long time a long time ago. Yeah, almost uh, like nine months ago or more, and it was video games and i named the producers and the year it came out and then people were supposed to guess the games and oh my god who made so i did do the dragon quest because that actually predates final fantasy how about and, dragon and ball z? you know what's funny dragon quest and dragon ball z same artist wasn't it some japanese company that it was- is it, it was it dragon quest didn't take off in the u.s the way it did in japan um but I'm trying to remember, but it, but since then they published, they published things in the US and the company, it's still the same company. Um, it's not Squaresoft. Scrumsoft. Scrumsoft. We have Sega, right? Come here. Okay, Atari. We have Sega on the list. Okay. Oh, I should, I should share my screen. Okay. I totally blank because I was, I was too busy denying that I would know anything about this category. Atari, Sega, Commodore, LucasArts, Konami, Sierra, and Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Come here, Kitty. What are you doing? Come here. LucasArts. So it's on there. Okay. That's okay. Come here. Come here. Okay. So my brain, I'm having a total brain fart because who made Tetris? arguably the best selling game of all time only recently beaten out by minecraft and mostly because people buy minecraft multiple times who made it's tetris? Just all the entire world right yeah yeah i'm trying to think of who made tetris what about alhambra they'd make a lot of uh, european games oh uh, hmm We'll put it down. We can take it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's let's put it on the list. There's a citation needed episode of Tetris that I have downloaded that I just haven't listened to yet. I'm sorry. It'll probably have the okay. answer. Too. Yeah. You, thanks, Kelly. You you made us fail. I mean, is it possible it was made by like an eponymous country that's like it was or a company that it was made by the Tetris Corporation or something? Well, what, I think that's what they're called now. Why not? I don't think so. Hasbro wouldn't have been on there, was it? it seems like there was no. one called Hasbro something. No, Hasbro wasn't really a player at the time, as I remember. They didn't definitely didn't make good games. They made. <laughs> Did any like um, uh, film studios or television production companies start, you know, try and break into it and then they, you know, they didn't make it or something like Sony or Fox or 20th Century Fox or something like that? No. I like how she tries to reason it out. Um, You know, like they all got it, but then they, they really weren't a player. Wait a second. Oh, um, id Software might be on there. They made Ooh. they made the original Doom and Wolfenstein. Id Software. Who made Battlezone? That was a game I played. <laughs> I played Space Invaders when I could get a chance. Pac Man. Ms. Pac-Man. Pac-Man's Astro- Konami. Asteroids. Asteroids Pac-Man. is Atari. Breakout. Breakout was huge. Yeah. I don't remember who made it. Probably who made the, the same original. people made all the others. Um, I am so, so glad I'm wearing this mask. Why? Why? <laughs> because he can smile or frown and not, not exactly. give it away. Oh. Well, are you smiling or frowning? That's all I want to know. Some of both. He's not mm-hmm. his eyes. <laughs> so you've got 10 names. We have 10 names, but a lot of them are not, we're not from yeah. our 
We're not. So the other thing I remember from early computers was Ms. DOS. MS DOS. MS -DOS. Yeah. DOS. Microsoft DOS. I yeah. called it Ms. DOS because I thought it was a person. Ah. Oh, cute. <laughs> Pac Man and Ms. DOS. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they had little babies because they loved each other so much. So we and would they made little ghosties for nine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. It's very early. It is very early. I'll probably remember, you know, when they read them off, I'll go, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, I mean, it's the fact that it's like 1984, which is like just on the cusp, like they would have had to been games that had been out a little bit of time. Just think about it. Was Reagan was president then, we wonder, his we, first term. I mean, that Hasbro didn't try and get in on this. Someone said Hasbro and that we discounted that. Probably still Hasbro, I don't know. I said I said Hasbro, but it. I they tried, but they didn't make anything good. It's but the did problem. They, well, well, Mike, there were a we lot of awful games Mike, made during that era too. This to, is his first game, then. Replace them with Ted. No, no, no. These are these are what producers made the some of the games that were arguably the best of all time. Oh, the best. Oh, okay. Not the question because it says that right. He says it's thirteen. Time. Oh. And the, uh, the when, like the like first game on the, the list of 13, game? the first the first game on this list oh. came out in 1971, and the last game on this list came out in 1970. So they had, the to, produce their, they had to produce their first game in the time period and go on to make the greatest game. No. Right. Go ahead. No, it's the there are 13 games in this list. Yeah. And the 13 games are mm -hmm. from 1970 half like were released between 1971 and 1984. Yeah, that's where you and these are the 13 companies that made those games. But isn't that something? It doesn't seem like it's one like company would have made more than one. Yeah, because that's what I was arguably thinking. these are the best games of all time. So why isn't each, why isn't Atari on here like four times? Because why? they would have had like the best. Yeah, that's I have no idea. So this will probably, this will probably be very clear once we get back. Cause, cause, yeah, I don't know. Cause it doesn't say we can't have more than one game from the same producer. You would think Nintendo or Atari or Commodore would have had multi games. They did. That were but the they, best. Oh, well, what about? Yeah. Does it have to be all different names? Can it be like Atari, 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 Atari? Yeah. That's. The no, question. I. No, I like. I don't know. I, I suppose if he comes back, we should ask if there are duplicates, but I don't think he'll tell us. Again. How does the no. question read? No, I think he would tell us if there were duplicates. That's no, a part of the question. Not, that would be a question that would be. Let me see. Let me. No, 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 because like whether or not a game, whether or not a producer can appear multiple times on the list yeah. is pretty tantamount to like, did he, did he mean 10 unique or did he mean 10 exact, like, Name the producers of the ten greatest games, and but, you know. Think about it. What is the likelihood that it's seen different producers? I mean, very were, high. There were yeah. a lot of companies getting into making were, games yeah. in that time. No, there were a lot really because a lot of people were doing that. experimental stuff. Zork oh, should be on here. I have no idea who made it. Who's that? Whoever made the Zork text-based adventures. Those were really cool. Okay. And they definitely were ahead of their time, but the question is who made it? Ember, Ember, what are you doing? I agree with Karen. It just seems really strange that if you've got 13 Ember. years and that each group, each producer would only be able to come up with one winner out of those 13 years and then somebody else had the winner and then somebody else. It seems mm. like it would be like Atari won in 71 and then in 73 and 75. You know, that's what I mean. It just seems odd that they would be all different, but I think they're supposed to be all different. Because it seems like that's how we work, yeah. right? The, like, this is one of those things that if, like, this is one of those things that if Leonard worded the yeah. question in a tricky way, that would be very not Leonard to do. Yeah. 
That's then, not something Leonard normally does. So that's yeah. why I'm uninclined to believe that he's intentionally trying to trick us. It would be, uh, it would it'd just be out of, uh, it would just be wrong, inappropriate. Out of character. Out of character for him. But it does seem odd that. It is odd. That, but, that each team, yeah. all, I mean, they only had one winner. I mean, every year that they had a winner, it was always a different company. Yeah. Especially when there's names like Atari in here. Commodore, Nintendo. Mm -hmm. We do have an ask for help button if we need clarification. Is that like a lifeline? And no, you know who will get come to your call? Me. Uh, you. <laughs> and I don't know. Who's it help? Help! Who's it help? I'm fine with what we got because I can't think of anything else. Me too. I don't think they're doing. I'm just blanking. I mean, I. Oh, it does seem odd. I 100 percent agree it should be on this list. God, I. Hey, Susan, I think that. Uh, oh, here's Leonard. We I have think a question. Are, yes, ma'am. So, Karen raised a very good question, and I agree that the way you've worded this is that these are all different companies, but it does seem odd. If we're picking the top game of the year, no, not every taking, year. I didn't say the top game of the year. The best. So, games. Yeah. So there may have been multiple games that came out in the same year that are all considered part of the best games of all time. Correct. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Then that answers our question. We were like, well, why wouldn't Atari or Nintendo be on here like five times if they were the, you know, if they were the best? Okay. I get it now. It's the best game. Okay. So not I am going best. to. Uh, oh, I'm going to give us a minute. Okay? I don't think we need to do it. I'm going to click. That's the, the I'm fault. clicking close all rooms. Okay, close I, all rooms. In. I want to go back to the idea of a film com company or media company that tried to get into it and maybe isn't anymore. I think Sony did. Okay, Which so one would you take off? No, Sony's, Sony's in off? now. They're in oh. now, but they weren't Where? for a long do. time. So what about they stayed out of it for a while. Corporation. How confident are you about Tetris? I mean, it is Sony? one of the best games of all time. But and was it was it released Tetris during that era. The question is, I don't know if, the, if it's called the Tetris Corporation. I don't remember what the corporation's called. How about X, X, X? What was that uh, Xerox company? Did they, they didn't make anything. They didn't make, yeah, they didn't. I don't think they made anything. No, they, they, they. Was there a company that owned them? No, they're, they're individually owned. Well, we'll find out. We got four seconds. We'll see how other people did. Bye, guys. We're all going to die. Uh, I don't I like, like it when it throws you out. You feel like you're being sucked through a vortex or something. I don't like that. I'd rather <laughs> go out on my own. Have somebody take me I out of a room. I think we're if, all. If Zoom is starting back. to feel like you're getting sucked into a vortex, you may be having a problem with your Zoom. I might activity. be having problems just or with your vortex. Your... Yeah. So I, I, I think we're all back. Are we? Yeah, we're uh, back. Anyone that isn't back, please uh, speak Raise up. Raise your hand. I'm <laughs> here. Well, speak up now. This was hard. I, I'm not yes. sure if I'm back or not. We it got a couple meant... for sure, and then it was like. Uh... It was meant. It was meant to be hard. Yeah, it's, it's, this it's, will really uh, break okay. it I didn't want. Uh, we think we have ten. Course. You think you we have ten? We'll I, find out. <laughs> I guarantee. I virtually guarantee you do not. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> so we will start with 1971. Uh huh. The game was Oregon Trail, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. the publisher was the Minnesota Educational. Co uh, Computer consortium. Oh, okay. That's one. You Thank you, Carl. Mech? I will take Mech. The second, 1972, the game was Pong, and the publisher was Atari. Yay. Yes. I love Yay, that. Atari. Then it was 1977 until the next new publisher broke out. The game was Zork, and the publisher was Infocom. Oh, Infocom. Infocom, Infocom death. 1978, you, the next year, the game was Space Invaders and the game was Taito. 
Taito. The, the uh, publisher Taito. was Taito. Oh, look at he's cheating up there. Carl's cheating. 1980. The game was Pac-Man, and the publisher was Namco. Oh. Yay, Namco. Halfway there. 1981. The game was Defender, and the publisher was Williams. Williams? Also, in, 19, yep. Never heard also in 1981, goodness. Donkey Kong from Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. Also in 1981, Frogger from Konami Sega. Sega. We just take Wait, Sega? Konami or Konami. Sega? They, they were joint publishers. Oh. 1982. So, so wait, do we need both of those names on that one? No, either. Okay. What if we have both on our list? Yeah, we have one both. point. Oh. 1982. Oh. Um, Ms. Pac-Man from Midway. Yep. Yes. Midway. Midway, yes. yes. Shockingly enough, that Ms. Yeah. Pac-Man and Pac-Man were not originally published by the same company, but after lots of legal uh, stuff, Namco got all the rights. 1982, the game was Pitfall, and the publisher was Activision. Yes, Ten, baby. Ten. Faith 1984. is excited. Look at her. She's not, not excited at all. 1984, the game, which since we don't have any Brits here, probably no one has heard of Elite, and the game was Acorn. The publisher was Acorn Soft. And then in 1984... The game was Marble Madness, and I yeah. actually know the guys that wrote that one. And the publisher was Atari Games, a completely different company than Atari. 1984 again, the game was Tetris, and Battery. the publisher was some a name that you have never heard of. Yeah, Edelorg. Damn, which was a Very holy was a company owned by the Soviet Union. What platform was get, that published? We knew on? the game. We didn't get that. Lots yeah, of knew platforms. Tetris is I mean, in there. What year was that? 1984. Four. Okay, 84. I'm yeah. as old as Tetris. I didn't realize it was that early. Faith, Faith got her obscure knowledge and was able to use it today. Didn't that feel good? Excellent. Yes. Zork but we did get 10. We could have named the game. Like 10. You did get 10? Got 10. Yeah. Kyle had them. What? I had some of them. Kyle because had the rest. Because my mommy taught me and about Faith had some. 10. We had it. <laughs> and Zork was oh, a we only got the first 10. Here. Okay. Oh, so let me uh, let me paste these answers. So I guess I didn't catch your sound cut out. Catch that your sound cut out had 10. So we'll start with that. Nice job, Kyle. Faith, nice job. You're welcome. It is Romero too, because he kept pushing Oregon Trail. Thank you, Romero. <laughs> Yuck. Can you give the link to the Wikipedia page so I can just stick that on my notes? Absolutely. That'd be easy. All right, so um, let's go to let's go to Millie Vanilli Hungry Caterpillar. Well, we're not as nerdy as some of y'all. Carmen says five. So we got five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, throwing off spike proteins left and right. Not Six. Left. Okay. Not like in classic children's literature. <laughs> Let's go back to classic children's literature. Um, we're the winners, Cyber Ninja. Say so. We got three. <gasps> Seriously? Like I said, sorry, team. Sorry. Wow. Well, it's the curse. It is the curse. the curse. Wait a minute. It's not my, I didn't have anything to do that because the first two rounds, I got tens. We got tens on mine. Well, there's another curse. <laughs> there's another curse. When you pick a team name that says you're going to win, I don't think they ever do. <laughs> oh, somebody can look that up because I've got all the old ten. You know what? Maybe I will look it up. Hey, we're as much of a winner of the recount, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There true. you go. We want an audit. <laughs> and then last but not least, 
what went missing first, the chicken or the egg? Five. Wow, 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 see, wow, wow. That really, really did it, you guys. Fine. Okay, so on go. so on on the metric of getting a good spread, I did very well. You did. You did. Three to ten. Look at that. Wow. So was, I'm I really shocked by that. the ten. Your sound cut out. So it's Kevin, Avi, Faith, Romero. We had Dean we had Paul. eight without Kyle. Kyle got two of them that I never would have got. So I would have had eight between so me we and had Faith. A good variety. And you still would have won with eight. Yeah, we would have had eight, but Kyle had that Oregon Trail one. I didn't know the company who made it. So, so actually, we have to look at the metrics. If you if you claim you're going to win in your team name, how many times did they finish last? So, <laughs> so you should to, claim you the, want to lose. I'll have to do those losing. calculations, Rob, someday whenever I'm like yeah. trying to find something that I need to do, or I'm I'm on hold or something. I will. When you run out of gargoyle names. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a really good game, you guys, because we had it was really right up to the last two categories. I ended up being an Did you a, a fairly in large category code. five that it went nine eight seven six five for the scores. Oh, that, that gives you a bonus point, right? What are the odds? Nine eight seven six five. You got a straight oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're right, it is. Nine, eight, seven, six, five in that order. Really good, you guys. All right. Did I'm heading out because I've got to get some sleep. Yep. Thank you, Susan. You Wait, guys are great. It's so good great night. to see you. Hey, Don't forget, um, James. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you over the weekend. James, how are you doing? On Sunday or Saturday. If you can come over Saturday, come over James? Saturday. Huh? How are you feeling? Pretty good. Should I hand this are, over to are somebody? Are you doing to better? Stay up for a while. Yeah. Bye, Wilma. Did Glad to hear you it. you think yeah. it was related to your vaccine? Uh, no, it was too... Uh, it just time? Yeah, just kind of gradual. Improvement. Increase. And I'm doing good night, that. Everybody. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, night. Susan. <laughs> You'll see me Saturday. Saturday at one. Well, oh, I can open up your bedroom door and see you, even if you're asleep. You well, won't it see won't me. Be, it won't be tomorrow. It will be Saturday. You're not going to make it here before one in the morning. You don't know. You don't know. If you're leaving, Paula, I know you. You can't get going. I'm that not fast. driving. Still, I'm a passenger. You can't get moving that fast. She's time travel. <laughs> I'm a passenger. Time travel. We would know. There's just no way. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to end the meeting. All right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.